It's the last night I spent with you. It's the last night I don't know what's. It, it's just those words, ain't it? Give me the goods. Last night. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, is my audio good? I think it is. Cool. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the B&O stream today on this fine 30th of October. Let's adjust the mic. Of 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. We're going to boot up this game. We're going to dive right into this one. No mystery, no magic, no wonder. You don't need... Like, I, I don't know why I, like, say, Oh, what game am I playing? As if there's, like... It's in the title. <laughs> you all know. I am not sponsored by Mount Franklin. For many I have my, of years, I have my the cold Shadow Australian have natural the spring water. I'm going to take an ASMR swig with some music playing. I hope you appreciate that or hated it. One of the two. Anyway, no. I hope you're all having, uh, you know, a wonderful week. Uh, I have had a very chaotic work week. I don't talk about work, and I shall leave that at that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, it's it's been good, hard, like, real serious stuff. So, that's the best kind. That is probably the best kind of, like, you know, you don't want your work to be easy. You want, like, life to be tricky. Not that tricky. But, like, <laughs> but, like you know what I mean. I don't want to be smooth sailing the whole time, because that's not, like, doesn't build character. How about I do? Oh, I. It hasn't clicked in my head where both Dark Souls are in this level, but I'm gonna I'm gonna warp out to the earlier part of this level. We're gonna do a bit of a collectathon because we're near the end of the game. We're at 105 Dark Souls. There's 15 left. There are still two serial killers left that need to be hunted down. Uh, there are still six secrets left to uncover. Uh, and I'm trying to do everything from memory. So I want to say, first of all, there is a Dark Soul right there. Right at the beginning of the whole game, right here. Uh, so if I clear off those few fellas, we should be good to find this. You can pick this up once you can climb waterfalls. Great. He says it's great, so that's good. You can walk here, it's just a dead end though. But there is a Dark Soul over here. Now you also see there is a pathway in the other direction. Um, this pathway in the other direction looks appealing, but you could spot in there, oh, there's a, there's a gate of some kind. I'm climbing here, I'm climbing. Let me, oh, okay, you jerk, you jerk. It's gonna be equally as painful, so. Uh, but yeah, no, climbing up here will show you that there is a level 10 door. You will not be able to open this door unless you have collected all 120 Dark Souls. We are still 160 off. So, me sort of going, hmm, okay, like, let's check the map. There's no level 10 doors afterwards. Um, the only thing I can think of is if there's an item that we need to pick up. Let's find an item, shall we? Welcome to the third temple of the game. Uh, we were here last last week. Um, but uh, there's certainly a little more to explore that I haven't yet. Uh, this level has uh, two more Dark Souls, and I've sort of given up the hunt on the Caddos. We might pick up a few more, but I don't know. I've gotten over 500, and I'd say that is swell enough. Um, entering these little tiny kind of corridors in the back uh, should reveal that I was really lazy in this part. Not lazy, but like this really should have fallen down somehow. I'm walking onto something there. But I've completely forgotten how this falls down. There's a ledge up there. There's a button. That button probably looks like the right thing. Uh, I think I've got a hunch. I think I've got my hunch. I've got my hunch. Uh, so let's jump back around. Oh, whoops. I slipped. Let's take a bit of a Mount Franklin swig. I would re- oh. If I could get sponsored by a water company, that'd be great. Cause like, real talk, 
Um, let's let's have a talk about advertising uh, because everyone likes. Um, I've probably ranted about like ads and how much I hate advertising and all this stuff. And I know like there's a there's a degree of so many YouTubers and so many uh, content creators on the internet, you know, have to resort to um, to advertising. It's an unfortunate way of the internet and to some degree the world where not a lot of people spend as little time as I do, um, you know, on the YouTube channel. And I, I greatly appreciate all of you for hanging around and, and chilling and opining when you want to and that kind of stuff. Legit, I am still forever impressed with the door there. I don't know why I never went up through that door. Um, by the way, uh, how many... I am totally losing my accent. I've, I've been listening to so many people from New York that, like, I don't, like, I'm just accidentally not saying door, I'm saying door, like door, I don't know why that's, that's throwing me off, so, um, there you go, I don't know, <laughs> that, that, that was a mystery to me last week, and I would completely forgotten that, yes, there was a button just there. Now, there's this little gap here, this is gonna be the most awkward jump in the world, let me see if I can get this first go, but, like, it's a really awkward jump. For the longest time, I just thought, oh, like, this is just, like, a separate thing. i got to kind of take it diagonally so that you can jump like that. Oh, if you yeah. get up here, it's a secret. And there's, I, there's no, there's one cat out. There you go. Uh, that is a secret, oops, sorry. Uh, secret. We got, got sure I even remember which secrets I don't have. I'm pretty sure it would have been playing as Deadwing. It's a good album. Um, also, we have access to this room where you'll find that, yes, there is a Dark Soul. It's probably a little, well, we can't go up here yet. Uh, but you're seeing a lot of these symbols on the ground, which should be a big hint that uh, there's something up, which we shall encounter as I explore this level a little more. But I think lowering these is the. Uh, uh, the path to victory. To start off, but uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm not the biggest advertising fan. Um, I usually get very kind of annoyed by ads because my time on the internet is a bit precious. Um, there's a degree of like, um, you know, I want to watch a video or something, and I gotta sit through like a half hour or even in some cases like two minutes of ads. Sometimes it just kicks in. YouTube is just very cruel. Um, and it's like, you know what, this video was five minutes long. I'm sorry, but I don't have the time to watch seven minutes. Or something like that. Someone will go like, oh, you know, like, it's so little, is your time really worth that little? It's the fact that, like, when you multiply by how many videos, you know, it gets, it starts to get very annoying. Um, other content creators, they always hinge on, um, or, or they'll rotate around to, um, in-video sponsorships. Uh, that's where tools like Sponsor Block come in, where the community basically says, Hey, yeah, at this point in the video, you know, you're selling a product. And, uh, well, it's all over at that point. Um, so there was a little raised walkway in that other room. And, uh, like, I'm just trying to get my bearings. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. There's no way you gotta like go through this pathway twice to witness that. You saw there was a ledge over on the other side. Don't worry, we'll get there eventually. But for now, you need a level nine so that you can open this. He is the Lord of Dead Side. So check it out. After all this time, I believe this is actually the last item in the game. The Calabash. Use this, and you can kind of throw it on the ground. It causes all these sparks. But if you use it on one of these symbols, eventually it converges and explodes in a rather big fireball that will probably hit you. You can use it to drop down on this ledge, where we can actually jump over here, because this is not a place you can reach otherwise. Yes, I did see another symbol on the ground there. I'm going to try and recall from memory where some of those other symbols are, but mm, we're probably going for... Just Dark Souls, you know, 
Oh, that literally just leads back here. Well, that's cool because uh, how many of these are there? So many. So many of these. Wow. Um, yeah. So I personally don't rely on advertising um, for my YouTube. I do enable the advertising for, um, you know, things that are non-obtrusive for time. Your time is precious. I don't mind the idea of like, okay, like, you know, hey, you know, just pop up ad or something like that. I do, what's the ones, um, Twitch does this to me, and I know that certain TV broadcasts, the same thing happens. Very annoying, where the, the content zooms in, revealing a banner at the bottom with the ad. That is very disorienting. I actually get like a bit like, you know, motion sick out of that. Um, I hate it, and, but you know what, hey, you know, at least it doesn't waste my time. I just look away from the screen when it happens. Um, but, yeah, the ones that do really waste my time, I really, really hate. So, I never have those enabled on my YouTube videos. If you spot a YouTube video uploaded uh, before this this one, if you're watching on YouTube, um, and you see an ad that's, you know, blocks you from watching the video, um, that's YouTube deciding that it's not me. So, that's a bit of a shame. You used to have absolute full control over which ads were shown on your video. Well, not, like, where ads were shown on your video. And it seems that YouTube uh, now, and I, I, I've mentioned this before, but it's it's kicking into effect now. So he'd, he'd know YouTube is forcing basically all ads to be enabled on all videos, or at least the ones that deem themselves to be okay in, you know, advertiser-unfriendly scenarios, which is uh, apparently most of them, I think. I don't think many ads actually do run on, you know, unsafe content. Sorry, I don't think many ads don't run on unsafe content. I feel like it was just a couple of big advertisers at the time and YouTube is, you know, trying to appease everyone. It's a use case, we've got to fulfill it. Makes sense, but... But, uh, yeah, they're gonna enable ads on every single video that's uploaded after October, which means your favorite content creator is going to have ads on their videos and they only get the choice that will all, all types of ads. And they're only going to get a choice of whether they wanted, you know, a piece of the pie or YouTube takes the whole cut. So there's no reason to not say no as a content creator because you don't really get any, any options. Now they say they're streamlining you know, the ad process, and I guess in theory, yes, you've given me less ability to determine what I want on my own videos. I know it's on your platform, but hey, be be transparent about it. Don't say this is for my benefit, because it's not. Giving me less tools, and like, literally the only option you present is an option that already existed. Actually, all the options were options that already existed. You haven't given me any advantage. All you've done is you've just reduced the number of options I have, and if both of those outcomes are less ideal, which I can guarantee they are, well, that's a bummer. Uh, there is another Dark Souls somewhere in this level. Let's keep giving it a look. Did I just walk past that cat, though? Where would that last Dark Soul be? Let's give this level a proper comb. Uh, this was just a open a wall, and I just looking at the wall there. Uh, yeah, nah, I I, don't know, I always get bummed by by ads and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, just note that uh that that kind of stuff it gets in the way. It does it does really get in the way. Um. I, I did say it's like, oh, it'd be cool if I had a, a Mount Franklin sponsorship. But, like, the other thing as well with advertising is that so much of it is very inaccurate for me. There's so many things where it's like, I, like, I don't buy these kinds of products or I'm not, like, looking for one right now. It sometimes works. I mean, like, is, is advertising successful if it works, you know, 0.1% of the time? for me. Maybe, I guess, is it worth that point? Maybe, but, you know, 
a lot of things I buy is like it's not through advertising, although someone would then say, ah, oh, actually things like PC Pot Picker is advertising. And I guess it is, but that's a little bit less advertising and more I'm already looking in the market for like something and you're just, you know, the one who pitched it in the right way and told me the right parts for what I needed and I already, you know, did the research and looked up things and I've got an idea. Like, it's not, like, un uncalled for advertising, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm actually gonna drop down. I'm gonna see what's down. Because I know we've gone through these passageways. I'm trying to recall... I think it was through here, wasn't it? Yeah, it totally was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh... Yeah, because we didn't have the drum. And you can hear it as well. And you can see it, even. So, there you go. That's how you know you're in the right place. Uh, but yeah, this place, it has the bit where you got to bang the drum. And reveal the wall. This awakens some sisters. As it always does. Bang some more drums. Here we go. But yeah, no, I... I don't know, I'm very irritated by, like, getting ads that are just irrelevant as well, but I think I've probably had this rant before and always and uh, I don't think I can personally change anything about it because it's all based on wide metrics and the the metrics seem to apply for most people, so just blast them with a gun I mean, it's not like you're getting ammo for this, well, rather it's not like you need to burn the ammo for this in any other context really there are so many sisters though, but it is the last temple. It does make sense. How many cat we got left? Funny number already. Uh, two left. Swig time. That's why I feel like a water sponsorship would be hilarious, because it's just like... What is someone going to say? Oh, sorry, I don't drink water. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's bottled water. It's like, you know, do people... You know, not everyone buys bottled water, but... Put that thing down. Let's jump away. The best part about this item is that it's incredibly not useful for, like, combat, because, like, how often is an enemy, like, walking right on you? Got it. It happens, but like, enough for you to put that down and walk away? Well, the Dark Soul is mine, so that's cool. We're at 108. Only 12 left, everyone. 12 left. Brace yourself. We are in the last 10%. But this game's been good fun. This game's been real good fun to just like go through again. Can, can you even avoid that? I love just the way these all flick around. No, this game's been been very good fun, and I'm I'm glad I've given myself another opportunity to to play through it. Um, and yeah, I, I really hope. Hey, if you all watching at home have enjoyed watching this game, give it a play. Give it a give it a go. Give the originals a go if you've got an original. Just anything really. Uh, will we ever find the two caddos? Doesn't seem like it for now. That's okay. Well, there's that. Uh, let's just go back through these levels and... Yeah, let's go back through these levels and pick up the remaining Dark Souls. So this is temple number two. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I was like, where would that Dark Soul be? Hmm. Hmm. That's the thing with this one, it's just like, it's so obvious, just seeing it, it's like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> it's not even, it's not even that hidden, it's just right there. You just have to remember it was there. Okay. Uh, there's actually one in, at the church, in the swamp. Just chilling there. Alright. Uh, I, we probably walked past this one 
a couple of times, but uh, maybe they'll actually be in use here against these enemies. Get him! I got one. Sort of, sort of did its job. Sort of. But there's one right here. Check that out. Whoa. It's gonna get this one dog. Hey, there you go. Oh yeah. This is also a secret. It's, it's just already a secret. We can play as the dog. This is the greatest one. This is the greatest, the greatest secret of them all. Wandering through. Excellent. This part, uh, these are all backwards. May 1908? These are all May 1908. Oh, now these are... Why are they backwards? Who put that there? Hi there. Don't peeve them off, you won't peeve you off. Not a dark soul. It's mine. So that's cool. Is that the... No, there's another Caddo just chilling somewhere. Man, I, I like how I was doing a good job of getting all the Caddos. And then eventually I was like, yeah, no, I'll just stop. And, uh, yeah. Where would another dead side one be? It was telling me about it ages ago. And I know of one, like, one of these secrets. So it's got to be near the end somewhere. But I don't really know if I've, like, really fully explored. I guess I'll have to just walk through and listen out for that beating heart. Either that, or it's just in this beginning area, and I just have never gone back for it. But I had gone back for that. It's been, it's been a hot moment, but I can guarantee I, I hit the drums on that before. Um, the reason why I'm walking around, check out this! This was here the whole time. Ooh. I hope you appreciate still playing as the dog. This is just... I don't know, man. This is a cool secret. I like it. Jump down in here, and... It's just a bunch of caddos. But you know what? More caddos is good fun. We're at 42 out of 46. I don't suppose walking around here will illuminate any... Oh, oh, wait a minute. It was here the whole time. Ooh. That's out. Now I feel silly. Because, yeah, I don't remember a time when only one of those Dark Souls was available, and it turns out both of them you get by climbing a waterfall. What's up? No one's right behind me to shoot me. Oh. Pow, 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 pow. Yeah. Uh, so, speaking of advertising water, sweet. Let's talk about a game involving water. Skull and Bones was announced to have been delayed again. I think I have done three different streams where I think that news has probably broken. Skull and Bones has been delayed actually six times. Skull and Bones is a Ubisoft developed uh, ship combat game, naval combat game, um, sort of riding the success of Assassin's Creed 4. Black Flag. Since Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, there was Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Assassin's Creed Origins, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Assassin's Creed... Um... What else was there? Was there an Athens one? I forgot what it was called. And uh, finally, what came out two weeks ago, and I barely heard anyone talk about, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Ah, uh, someone's gonna yell at me if I'm not remembering. Assassin's Creed Rogue, was that? No, that was earlier, in the, in the side game, but... I have never played an Assassin's Creed, but I have played Far Cry 3, so... I'm just gonna say I've played the franchise. <laughs> uh, I've played games that sort of have, like, um, elements, I feel. Like, I've played both of the Shadow, uh, like, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War games. Um, I've got bits of that in there. Um, I guess I've got the Dark Soul, why am I wandering around? Don't need to chill. Uh, open schisms. It's one Dark Soul in the Temple of Fire. Let's head over here. Where would it have been? It would have been a... 
Must have been earlier. I feel with the the symbol. Maybe at the beginning of the level. Let's let's give the beginning of the level a check. This is the problem when when you go back after like not, you know, not paying attention to when it said those Dark Souls were available because it's like eh, I've forgotten which item I would have needed. Like, what was limiting me? Who knows? But I'm thinking it was the symbol. Because I mean, if all the temples had one, this one's gonna have an, you know one of those as well. Uh. Yeah, I, it's, it's a weird one, Skull and Bones is a weird one for me because I have not played any game really in the franchise or really a lot of Ubisoft games in recent memory, um, but let's, let's turn off the secret because I know someone's going to be like, why are you a dog with a bare butt? Um, but I, it brings up this rather interesting topic of overhyping games and, uh, I guess, you know, the the development cycle and the long-term support. Uh, Skull and Bones is a game that I definitely knew about going, like, beforehand. And it's not because of the official marketing materials or any pre-release footage. It's because people hyped it up. People in communities and around me sort of-ish uh, definitely were on about how this will be, you know, a great follow-up to the Assassin's Creed um, Black Flag naval combat. Now, as someone who's never played Assassin's Creed Black Flag, uh, no, I sure hope it, it, it's a great part of that game. I feel like a lot of people enjoyed it at the time and it's still kind of held as like a very fun side mechanic of that game. Um, so I can imagine why people are excited. Uh, the, the asterisk I would put on that is don't, cap, don't count the eggs until they hatch. Don't say a game is cool and overhype it until it's sitting in your lap and you're playing it and you're having a good time. Because until then, there ain't no game. And we're in that current state where it's like, yeah, like there is no skull and bones. It could not release. And uh, yeah, we would not we would not have played it at all. So why are we getting so worked up? It's because the prospect of being able to play a cool game like this. but. I don't know, in my mind it's like there are so many games that come out where people hype them and they don't live up to the expectation because the expectation is not what the game was. Game devs, and this is not to say game devs are you know, perfect and infallible, but that game devs aren't you necessarily. Hopefully they're like you. Like, you know, you know what I mean. I, it'd be great for a game to have as much of the things you want in it as possible. But, realistically, you know, they're not going to. We sort of have to just accept and critique the things that we get, and then go, how do we, you know, turn that into an even better game the next time? Um, yeah, I definitely got that one. I got a hunch, maybe it's later. It's in the temple. Itself. But I also don't think it is in the temple itself, so it must be in one of these like little side alcoves. But just listen around. If you hear the heartbeat, we're in the right, you know, vicinity. Yeah. But the, uh, I mean, it's it's a weird scenario because I've never seen a game get announced and then consistently delayed. Like not like TBD. It'll eventually, you know, happen when it happens, like people hyping Half-Life 3, which, uh, has, in some way, turned into side projects. Games like, uh, you know, I, I would imagine some elements of Half-Life 3 were sort of like, yeah, you know, we can actually turn that into a Portal 2, or a, um, or a Half-Life Alex. Um, I don't really know if Valve's made that many other games that probably would overlap with Half-Life 3 mechanics, but, you know, Valve have definitely said, yeah, no, like, they, they're not developing nothing, but they're not going to announce a game, and they're not going to give anyone an expectation until they're ready, and they can hype it up. Um, and I feel like Skull and Bones is, 
sort of in that, you know, it was in that time period, and it probably, you know, exists... Sorry, how do I phrase that? As in, like... It probably just has that tumultuous dev cycle where they're constantly going through ideas, and maybe it's because it's a small, a smaller team or something along the lines. They're able to afford taking so long because legit, if you said you paid 50 developers or 50, you know, people, you know, whether that's like artists and QA and and marketing and uh, like sound designers and programmers and directors and things like that and it's like yeah I can imagine maybe like there's a place for 50 people and you're paying each of those people $50,000 US uh, that's 25 million US dollars 25 million yeah that's 20 that's 25 million US dollars that you've currently sunk into your development budget 50 people is probably on the lower side of AAA games as well and guaranteed you're not paying every single person 50,000 um, some people might be paid less, but I can guarantee, like, a manager or something like that is certainly being paid a fair bit more than 50,000 US. Um, like, why would you work at any of these big companies if you're only gonna get paid 50,000? You know what I mean? Entry-level job, I get it. Manager... Nah, you should be looking for better than 50. At least in software. Ubisoft can pay that much, right? Right? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, like, that's a lot of, that's a, that's a real lot of money for a game that is not out, and, I mean, what, they still just delayed the release to early next year, so who knows, maybe it, maybe it'll come early next year, but it's still bizarre how often that game is close to release, and then the rug is pulled. They do not have the game in a release-worthy state. Um... And I can't really explain why. I don't think anyone can explain why other than them. And I feel like the only way to really make that clear is you gotta you gotta showcase the game. You gotta be a little bit more open to demos, and you gotta be a little bit more open to the in development progress. Or alternatively, you really shut up about it, and you're just like it's done when it's ready, and you don't say a day, and you don't set any expectations, and you just go with it. I feel like you can't play in the middle. It really doesn't work in the middle for, for game dev. It's got a five star health warning on it. So you know there's five whole stars in my water. I was just checking on top just to see that there wasn't like a thing underneath, but it doesn't look like it. Dude, this water bottle cracked so much as well. Okay, so I've checked all these, you know, rooms. Uh, there's the other, like, exit up there. I'll just double check. Why is that closed? I swear I walked out of this. I did walk out of it. Maybe it's not physical on the other side. It's a bit of a weird door, ain't it? Um... But, yeah, like, I don't know, I, I just feel like you can't, you can't go halfway on your, on your advertising for a game that's in pre-release. You should either, you know, be incredibly certain, like, imagine, you know, if, uh, Smash Brothers, when they were announcing, like, this, I was gonna say Brawl, showing my age. Am I really, like, that old? I don't know, man. But, like, when they were announcing, like, oh, all these characters are gonna be in the game and all these modes and stuff, none of that was not in the game. Every single thing announced ended up being in the game, and, uh, like, you know, one, it's very candid, but it is also, like, super open and, and, like, um, sorry, open's not the right word, um, established. As in, as in, it's ready, it's there. Let me just commit it, and I don't know, it's at, at the time of Wii games, you can't pack the Wii game to just, like, have tons more features and be good. It kind of has to come out in a state that's really, really good, and very rarely do you uh, need to patch a game and you know, make it make it run better or not have a save breaking bug or something like that. Um, very few Wii games did that, so that's just what, how it had to be. You get it right, you measure twice, you cut once, you do that. Um, so it's very bizarre seeing newer games 
crumble under this kind of pressure when I would imagine that um, the games themselves, like, do the games themselves have to be really more complex? Like, I can understand the engines. Okay, I definitely hear it. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I sh sh just immediately walked forward when I started. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. I was right there at the beginning. <laughs> we went. How many Kettos we got left? Five? Wait, well, there's one. There's two. Let's see if the other three are all just chilling right here. What's this Tomb Raider level design going on right here? Oh, oh. What's up these steps? Do the the anticipation is killing me. Well, I got a couple of them. Yeah, I I'm I'm a little sad I didn't just walk straight into that. I just explored the rest of the level. Just going eh, level. Yeah. Uh, so the only other level with stuff in it that we haven't gotten things in is there's two in the playrooms. We might as well have a look check out at this right now. I know we need to get more accumulators so that we can trade them off. But I think we can go around and get those two remaining Dark Souls. And perhaps the one last cat uh, might be in that room as well. Uh, let's see if I can remember exactly where this is. Uh, this is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the accumulators is in this room. And I fell over. Shit. Thank you, Michael Leroy. Appreciate it. Hard work, working hard. Hardly working. And now we're gonna have to hear the squeaky toy and the drill. And that one sound, the one like, look at this doom guy. The one sound he makes. Gosh, they're absolutely like pegging at me, aren't they? So, with your accumulators, three of them. Can be used right here, which is actually kind of fun. Uh, so if you use your three accumulators that you got, you can actually unlock. There it is. Mm, looks useful. You can unlock a second uh, violator. So now you got two of them. You can dual wield, which is very very cool. You can use uh, the remaining two just to top up on ammo, which seems a little worthless to be honest, but uh, it's very cool that you can just, you know, have two run around, feel powerful, just be like, hello there. You're burning through so much ammo, but it is very neat and very useful. So, I like it. Very nice. Let's get some ammo back for that over time. Two Dark Souls somewhere on this level, so it's gotta be something to it. Uh, yeah, Skull and Bones. I don't know. I can't. I know there's that guy, and I think we have an opportunity. Right, well, let's take out that fella. Uh, this we were we didn't have the ability to walk in lava before, and now we do. So this is probably the uh, entry point to finding more goodies. Like here, for example. Get him, there we go. There we go. The Dark Souls are indeed mine. I'm enjoying them. And this door opens up. I went to put us into this pit, I guess. We could have seen this coming a mile away, but we can't you know, we couldn't get it until being able to walk on lava. Isn't that weird that that was like after this level? That just feels age like I always feel like I went into this level very recently, even though I only went into it once and sort of fully explored it. It's because I've like just explored this level so much because it takes forever. <laughs> or does it take forever? I, I guess I was just bad on my first playthrough. 
Drop down the other way, and we gotta fight this guy. You know what that means. I've got a hundred ammo. Well, it worked until it didn't. Ooh, ooh, hi. Oh. It's copping it back there, he's not having a fun time. There you go. Very, very nice. Yeah, it's interesting that there's a guy like that just in, you know, the playroom's level. The Dark Soul is indeed mine. That's, that's right. So that is every single Dark Soul that's not in the engine room or the connecting levels. Uh, we've only got six to go. Bit more ammo. Very nice. Uh, there must be a way up there. Has to be. Ought to be. Did you just jump it? Can he reach there? Oh my gosh, he can. What a leap. I was expecting some, uh... I was really expecting some, uh, some... Oh, we got the cat already, never mind. Yeah, that's basically this level done. I don't think there's any, you know, there's nothing to really say. So, um... We got two serial killer levels to go. Now, if you've never played the... Or rather, if you've played the original versions of these games, uh, these two levels that I will now do are not in the original versions. Uh, you'll probably have already killed more bosses in the, uh, in the prison level. And then you'll be like, where are they? So, here is... This guy's got some real funky music when it pitches down. Very fun. That happens a bit in the brand new King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard album, The Silver Chord, which I listen to. It's actually, it's a good fun album. I like, I do like me my King Giz. So, uh, it's, a, uh, I guess it's Acid Techno. They've, they've gone through that direction. So where does this level take place? That's right, we are in the Salvage Yard. The Mojave Desert, or is it the Salhavi Yard? Something like that. Hey there, brother, yo! What's happening, my man? Where the hell? Hey, gang. This is how all Americans talk, right? I haven't come for a party, mister. You crazy son of a bitch. You got your damn party, all right. It's an end of the world sock hop, the apocalypse prom, and Marco's yard. You're on the guest list, Mikey. And little Lukey's coming too. He's got the best team in the house with a split lip meat that big old Asian. And he's screaming for his mommy, but mommy's gone down dead sideways. She can't help him, and neither can he. Damn you. I have never heard anyone ever talk like that. just happens, you know? It's just... So, uh, you got this, uh, this music. We're in Marco's yard now. Uh, check our serial killer notes, try to figure- oh, whoops, wrong one. Try to f figure out who is the Marco person. Uh, it's this guy. He weighs a lot, apparently. Uh, what's his serial killer name? Do I know this guy? Bro, he doesn't, he doesn't have a, oh, Jesus Moretta, I probably know of that one. I don't know, man. You didn't lay your mark if I don't know of you. Sorry, man. Didn't make the cut. Uh, since we're in the real world, check out some real world weapons again. The shotgun is back, so I'm gonna hold that one. As well as also the key card, which is completely useless outside that one level. You've still got to hold on to it though, it's a very important item. From the other side. Uh, this level is a bit interesting. I was not expecting a warp right there, but did I just... My A button is like very bizarre, it's like double pressing in weird places, so uh... But uh, we can find a short off shotgun apparently, and then... Uh, oh, and then accumulated, oh, of course. That's right, your, your villains this time around are dogs. Um, yeah, no, the Kinkers album was actually, was, was pretty neat. Um, I'm not, like, I don't, I'm not very knowledgeable in techno, or really that kind of, like, that kind of scene, so... 
everything that kind of happened is just kind of happening at me. I don't really know the, the things to expect or appreciate out of it, but it's very, it's very flowing. It's very, like, filled with um, lots of layers, lots of just, like, parts to it. Um, like that, uh, which is... But if I had to say, it's very, you know, still characteristically King Giz. There's lots of um, very strong polyrhythms going on. Um, you know, that kind of like vocal repetition, the, um, the rhythmic repetition. It stays on one kind of chord for lots of things, but uh, we'll kind of toy around with the, um, you know, sounds and maybe some additional voices or melodies or things like that going on. So it's pretty neat. Uh, I thought what's a bit of an interesting, like, idea for this release is, uh, and probably there's other albums that do this, um, is that, uh, there's two versions. Also, hi there. Hi there. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, he's running off, so you know he's, you know he's gonna leave. There he goes. He doesn't jump scare like the other one does, though. Look at these tires. This is exactly, like, what a tire pile looks like. Just, you know blob here um i do i do want to note these levels were unfinished in their original states and so there's probably going to be like some gaps but i think they do a fairly good job of um of you know fleshing them out and making them look like they did exist in some way even if you know, some <laughs> some the other the next level legit is just like absolutely massive I'm gonna push button. <laughs> very, very nice. That's right, we got sideways barrels. That's how you know this is actually in the future. I'm gonna press this button. <laughs> I believe that actually can kill you as well. I'm not gonna demonstrate that. <laughs> Leave it to your imagination. We got doors as well. My favorite working feature. A bit dimly lit, but it is also, you know, a lunar eclipse. Or it's a solar eclipse, actually, because the moon is sandwiched by the sun and the. Yeah, whereas the lunar eclipse is when, like, the moon's on the other side. Something around here. Lots of bits all over. I think it's kind of easy to miss Kato's in this level because it just kind of keeps going around and stuff. Getting some more of that ammo. Very good stuff. Oh, thank goodness there's tire stairs going on. Um, yeah. Sort of sort of interesting with the, the King Gears album. There's two versions. If you go on Spotify or... I'm pretty much everywhere, I feel, is... I don't know if there's going to be physical releases, maybe. Um, but uh, there's two discs, one of which is the shortened version, uh, clocks in around like 30 minutes, and one is the longer version, clocks in around 87 minutes. Uh, same tracks. Um, virtually, I think every single long version starts with the short version before it, you know, develops into a longer and, uh, you know, more complex jam, or a bit more mellow, a bit more, you know, spacious. Um, one, but it effectively contains the entire of the original composition. Um, now here's a... I think it's here. Nope. There's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right here. You shoot this wall. Walk through here. And there's a... Weird... Portal? Stand in here. It warps oh, you. Yeah. Into, uh... An alien lab? You can't leave, you're in a- you're in a vat. Just... Inexplicably. Inexplicably that happens. Uh, that is an actual secret where you do actually get Area 51 baddies and music. So you can have that on, so you can always have that music playing. I feel like that music is in, like, original versions of the game. It's just that, like, you know, there's no opportunity to play it, because... You know, you don't go to Area 51, you don't go to... Mojave Desert. And, uh, what is Area 51 baddies? We'll see.
do this like musical composition, even though it is just like <laughs> keeps going, man. I wrote a full piece expecting there to be more in, in Area 51. The trick to make all space music is just to like suspend the heck out of chords. So at the end of that music, and it starts again. Okay, I'm turning that off. Keeping the enemies on for the moment. We'll see what we're in for. Run around here. Check it out. It's a, uh, the show me in. I smell gasoline. Yo, so brother, shall we dance? It's about that time. Time for the Fandango through the flames. The hot rock harmony to the sound of sizzling. Oh, I had to deal with through the fire and flames this week. Orchestra. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Why do you carry like explosive barrels? You gotta really, like, they're full of liquid. It always seems like the most trivial thing to, like, set up in a video game, but then it's like, bro, like, it's a lot of work, man. I'm never gonna become, a, like, you know, a mass murderer. I can't even lift an explosive barrel. That stuff is just dedicated. I, mean, I guess it only needs to be, like, half full. Maybe that's my problem. Bro didn't fill it afterwards, like... Okay, so now you go in, whole place is on fire, which is a wonderfully different aesthetic other than what on earth is happening here <laughs> sure Damn it, locked. there's locked doors all over the place there's gonna be rats all over the place because apparently what do rats love more than you know nibbling at your feet fire this is weirdly dim as well I like the effects but uh <laughs> He's just painting fire on walls. Also, hi there. No, it can't be. Just remember, we're in the real world. That was a real person who burned alive. At least the bathroom is perfectly fine. I, I love how there's just actual first aid as well. <laughs> it's just like, you know, none of this soul stuff. Oh, women's bathroom is uh, looking normal. Cat on the bed, very nice. Uh, hole in the ceiling, which uh, unfortunately is like a thing you just you can't jump through it. Very disappointing. You know, I'd give that album a listen. It's good fun. Um, give your Australian artists, you know, a go. Hi there, how you doing? I got baited. I actually got baited. I'm gonna go back for that, man. I like this aesthetic. It's very nice. Um, I, I would, I would sleep here. No, but it's a uh... like I can totally get where they're coming from. I don't really know the reasons why they didn't implement this. I would just imagine it's like this was last on their schedule and the game had to be out tomorrow. That's usually how it goes. Um, come on. There we go. So now I actually have to do the jump. Ooh. Sure. Uh, technically this exit's out this way as well. Um, let me just... I should have double-checked that other room before I jumped. That's okay. Not a very big saloon, is it? Well, I guess it is pretty big, because, uh... There's beds and other kinds of things. Oh, it's an inn, actually. Sorry. Why am I calling it a saloon? It's because it's got those, like, doors at the front. You know, the kind. The saloon doors. It's just like, you can just Google search saloon doors, and you'll get exactly what, you know... What you saw at the beginning there. Ah, oh, a gold pile. Oh no. Well, there's an accumulator as well as uh, whatever's going on here, and a 
A spleen? Everyone likes a good old spleen. My ground spleen. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else to go, so I'm glad I didn't pick that, uh, pick up that item until I wandered through here multiple times. Okay, out the back. Uh, they made this a fair bit more obvious, because, uh, the original version of this, this was a flat wall. There was no, there was no indication here when I first played this. That trail also, I believe, wasn't there. The trail of, of, uh, gasoline. Um, it was literally, you just exit into this area and be like, where do I go? Where, where do I go? And it's just, like, you just had to know. I think the trail on the ground was there, but like, I don't know, leaving the door ajar, kind of, you know, kind of indicates it. Huh? What is on these walls? What is that? Is it just like rock or is that like something more important? Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Did you get jump scared by that? Woo woo. Head in the fridge, head in the fridge. Everyone likes a good head in the fridge. Gotta keep your, keep your, keep your head straight, you know what I mean? Where are we wandering through? A junkyard, I guess, is probably the answer. I, I love car piles and like, these older games. Postal 2's got a very, very fun car pile and it's just like... Do people actually like stack cars like this? Like, they just start maximizing the space they have. And they just make a maze. I turn on my alien enemies, I'm not exactly seeing any. Maybe that, you know, a dead side thing. Trying to figure out where you're going in a maze full of cars. Uh, but yeah, no, I mentioned through the Fire and Flames because uh, this week I've finally finished Guitar Hero 3. I think I had a full kind of explanation of really everything before, but uh, yeah, no, I had played Guitar Hero 3 um, like, actually like 16 years ago now. Uh, when it came out, because I think you probably had to play these games when they came out. You missed them by more than three years, you know, Guitar Hero was dead by 2010. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it was a very, very big thing, so, uh, going through the Retro Achievement set again, which was basically playing through the game and making sure that you 5 star all the songs in the career. And, at the very least, beat. What is this ground texture? What is this? Is this, like, wood chips? What am I looking at here? This is, like, an actual, like, cooked mess of texture. What is going on here? What is going on here? Oh, I guess it's, like, corrugated iron. Excuse me? Excuse me? Who's squeaking in my neighborhood? Make like a little ramp and it's just... <laughs> Listen, I, I, I don't know, I look at that and I go, man, you should probably fix that. That's just a bump right there. I like this though, this is cool. Um, yeah, no, the, the set was pretty decent. Um, Nothing really too weird, but definitely a little bit of a ugh, playing the game four times for every difficulty. Ooh, there's that music. I don't know why my brain was thinking, oh no, tank. It's like it's just a forklift. Or a, uh, a, a, a digging device, a digging application. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, the, uh, yeah, the, the set's kind of, I apparently hate speakers. I really hate speakers, apparently. Get them out of here, I don't want speakers. Uh, you know, I definitely, like, Guitar is a tough one to emulate, so you sort of need, like, a real, you know, plastic guitar. Um, if you're doing, like, drums for later rock bands or guitar heroes, it's like, yeah, like, drums, you could just use any electronic drum kit. There's really not much that you're gaining by having the actual guitar hero drum kit itself. Uh, same thing with vocals, just, you know, really any vocals works. Um, but with the guitar, it's like, well, the guitar is the guitar. You need a guitar. 
Uh, most of them had the same rough functions, and there's definitely third-party ones that probably do the job. But, at least, you know, nothing beats having a piece of plastic that is only applicable to one game. Multiple versions of that one game, but one game nonetheless. Push button! <laughs> There's lots of, like, physical parts of this level. Like, we've even got the little flappy things that you walk through, and... We're already here as well. Jesus, who's this guy's decorator? Elvis? Elvis? Oh, we're back to this. We're back to that. And the keyboard where they swapped A and Z. Oh, sorry, Y and Z. They did. I hate it. I really hate it. Not sure what's going on here, though. Wandering up some stairs. Bro, I'm taking like eight stairs at a time. They block off all these walls though. Probably had ideas for a larger level. Open this door. And he's uh, he's just chilling down there. Lots of goodies if you need them. I know what I'm using. Shotgun, of course. Where is it? Where is the shotgun gun? There it is. They're all so spread out. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Um, yeah. No, I haven't really played that much otherwise, though. I've I've been sort of off it. Um, hey there, Yank! Damn. This guy is really. You, you allowed to call people off. that? You know full well that Firewalk's all about keeping your cool, about being the ice man, coming through the valley of outrageous fortune. Here comes Slings Arrows, Mr. Yorick. Let's rock and roll through that valley of death. Yeah! Yeah, I have a boss fight. Let's get him with that shotgun. Keep firing heads out of my shotgun because I've got that one secret on. Hey, it's not that bad. The shotgun does wonders. Oh, he's running away. When I was going for the no deaths, this one was legit, like, weirdly difficult. Because you can't, like, you can't dodge him. You've just got to, like, take him. Yeah, he... Shit. He's a bit of a doozy. Also... Oh man, that's a- that's a fair bit of a walk. That is a fair bit of a walk. Wow. I should have opened something in the middle. Whoops. Time to jump, run, jump, clean my room and walk all the way back whilst well, continuing to talk about Guitar Hero 3. Um... Yeah. The part that I, you know, I hadn't remembered for the longest time was what was Guitar Hero 3 like on the other difficulty levels? Because as my first Guitar Hero game, I did work my way up through the difficulty levels. I found easy to be the thing I needed because playing the game for the first time, it's always just so much. Easy is super reduced, but it gives you enough songs where you can get used to just hold, fret, press note, which is something that is very fundamental but is also something where it's like, you can't do anything until you learn how to reliably hit the note you see. Then, you play on medium. You introduce the, the pinky blue fret. Then, you play on hard. You'll introduce the fourth fret. There's also a bunch of chords. Easy rarely does chords. I never saw a green yellow chord on Easy. Um, so, there's the occasional chords, but they're pretty, pretty reduced, pretty, pretty mild if they do exist. Um, yeah, on medium, they'll throw chords in a bit more often. Um, on hard, yeah, there's some songs where, uh, on hard, it actually felt like what later games felt like on Expert. Uh, songs like One, the chart is weirdly similar to the, uh, Expert level chart in Guitar Hero Metallica. Um, because really, most of the notes are there. It's just, you know, at the end, it's like, on hard, you're playing... Green, you're doing that, and then it's like, oh, well, now it's, you know, green, and then green, yellow, and then red, blue chords, like that kind of stuff. On expert, it's 
green, yellow, blue, and red, yellow, orange. It's like, oh, okay, it's a bit more involved, like, fairly more involved. Um, so, uh, you know, you've got, you've got bits like that. Um, I do feel like Expert in Guitar Hero 3 is just harder to beat. It's not necessarily harder to, like, full combo or anything. There's certainly some really hard songs, Raining Blood and One and, uh, you know, Through the Fire and Flames, of course, being probably the most difficult song they've ever put in a Guitar Hero game. Um, you know, Notorious. I actually realized as well, like, on Easy, it's not... It didn't feel that much, but on Medium, you could certainly tell, Through the Fire and Flames is by far the hardest song. Like, absolutely by far. On Expert, you know, some other songs come into the mix a bit, but Through the Fire and Flames still being the longest song in the game. Actually, is it the longest, or is one the longest? They're pretty close. Um, like, just being up there is enough to just make it, like, you know, a tall order. So I think I actually had to wander this way. And then there's this little shack here. And you can, you know, open the shack door. And there's a computer with the shotgun, which I should have been using. Or rather, I can use. But I might as well. It's just sort of. There's nothing to it. And uh, you open this door, which allows you to pick up a caddo. How many caddos are at? 30? Nice. And a padlock. So I can actually walk to the end of the level a bit quicker. And the doors only open one way. The best kind of doors. I would love to trick out a car like this, but someone would probably <laughs> yell at me going, Bro. I gotta navigate through this texture again. It's not exactly the funkiest music. Like, I get what he's going for, but it's like... You gotta have some weird personality if, uh, I don't know, if you like disco, am I right? Am I right? Exactly. Disco goes in the trash. We only listen to metal music. I'm glad, or I'm not glad, that I missed that era. I don't know, I'm probably less glad that I missed it, because it'd be kind of funny. Um... But yeah, uh, yeah. The only other thing I guess I know of Guitar Hero 3 is that, um... The boss battles are actually, like, really cheap. Uh, on the earlier difficulties, they actually have a difficulty up power-up. It's been, like, ages. Since I f and I forgot that, uh... Oh yeah, there was a difficulty up power-up. Um... So, uh... It's really not that bad on easy. On medium, it's like, uh, you throw in that orange fret. And on hard, it's just like, yeah, sometimes... Oh, hi there, jeez. How far away from the end of the fight was I? I was right there. Hold on. Hi. Took your time. Nice. I think I dropped that like ages before, but okay. The Dark Souls are indeed mine. Let me get this song. It's a rather interesting song when you've beaten the, the boss just here. I'm curious if it's brand new. I'm really curious if it's actually, like, brand new. Might be. Uh, there is a secret, by the way, two secrets in this level. For getting on the DJ turn still. Uh, this gives you the disco music and the disco lights. We've got the clothes to boot. You can dress just like him. And have that music playing everywhere. And the lights everywhere. Uh, there is one last, or two last secrets in the game. One involving the last level, and one involving a level 10 door we haven't been able to go into just yet. Let's exit through the door. Another door. So many doors. Imagine getting killed by a dog on the way out. I would like to duck in. I'd like to duck in. Can, can, you, can you let me through, or...? There you go. Ooh. That's a good roll. How many are we at? 31? 31 is pretty good. We're at 611. Like, there's... Not many 
really left. Not many caddos left, but... No. Again, again, the, the goal of finding them all is arbitrary. You don't really need to find them all. This one's 500. There must be something around here. Like a hole. But you don't need to tell me there's a hole. Bit of a victory march to get to the end, right? Yeah. Okay, let's use this item. Bro, we've got so many items now. And here we are, the uh, magnificent machine to end the level. Did they hide anything behind it? They did. They hid two more caddos, just in case. Just to make you worry. Through we go, and of course, as you know, we're back in the engine block. Where there is lava? We actually have lava for a change. Now, I didn't do my research, so I can't answer... I can't remember whether these areas of the engine block are brand new, or what areas of the engine block are brand new or existing, based on the, um... You know, because there are extra entrances, extra levels. But, you know, it's still the engine block, they haven't really changed, well, I say they haven't changed much, it's, it's, I mean, you know, new areas, I guess, but it's the same aesthetic, more of the same level. Uh, but yeah, no, I would really like to play more of the Guitar Heroes, um, as an experience. I have never played any of the earlier PS2 ones, but, and I also never played Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Um, but I would really like to play the other ones and sort of flex some mastery muscles on that one to really show that I can actually do it. Um, I do really, really wish I had one thing to say about the Sky's Retro Achievement set, other than, please, I don't want to play on easy. And I know, I know, it's like, oh, technically there's an exclusive guitar. I really don't want to. I, d I just don't want to play on easy, man. Like, you can, you can leave that out. Um... Okay, bit of a dead end. Oh my gosh, they're going. They're going. Um, and the other one I would also say is, yeah, no leaderboards. All the scores I got, no one will know unless I, you know, send them elsewhere. Even the full combo subset, no leaderboards, which I thought was interesting. Um, I also, yeah, I took a bit of the extra time. I was like, I know that I can full combo some songs. I thought there's definitely at least 10 I can get. I knew there was 10. And then I started going through and I'm like, you know what? I might be able to get like 20. I managed to get 29 and I'm very, very happy. So uh, if you check out my Retro Achievements profile, you can see the songs I did get. Uh, but I got some of the more trickier ones like Avalanche, um, threes and sevens I can do. Uh, there was one other one, which I'm like, it's rather late game and I'm so glad I got it. Lagrange, that was another one. It's just like, just keeping your wits and really holding your, your your patience and going for it. I did not want to do Story of My Life again. I just... The more I played that song, the more I really didn't like it. Uh, I keep forgetting that song is nearly six six minutes long. I was going to say six hours. Feels like six hours. And he can't sing. Like, I'm sorry. I know it's the tone, but it's just like, oh, it just hurts. Just like this dentist drill and a child crying in the background. My favorite part of the music. Uh, also, yeah, there's still, I mean, we've got five more Dark Souls. Four of them are in this, in in this engine block, which we still need to, I am using the wrong item on him. I might as well use this. There we go, very, very nice. Very lovely indeed. The Dark Salt is indeed mine. Uh, yeah, those are my two only real complaints with the set. You know, it works as expected. It's a little, it's a little disorienting because the achievements sometimes trigger for beating the song. Oh, also, why is there an achievement for beating every bonus song on each difficulty? That, again, it's just like, I don't know, man, you only need to show that I can beat through the Fire and Flames on Expert. And any difficulty if you wanted to, you know, reward people for at least clearing things. Because there's no real, you know, there's no in-game reason to play any bonus song other than it's for points. 
You got points. Oh, he's loose. The goose is on the loose. What was that? Is that on the ground here? Wow, it's a bit dark in that corner. Must be up here then. Ah, there he is. Oh, no, he went back in. You can come out. You can come out. There you go, little guy. There you go. You don't need to be afraid. I need to be afraid. He's firing so many of those purple things at me. Very, very nice indeed. Yes, the Dark Souls. The Dark Soul is indeed mine. Walking around as if I'm gonna pick up Kato's, even though there's none in this level. Walking out via my red carpet. It's not carpet. This is certainly a very ominous hallway, isn't it? Hi there, how you doing? Oh my gosh, he's observing the, the triangles. He's got the pyramids. Uh, yeah, I've got fond memories of all the guitar heroes, so I'd really like to give the others a go in some variety. Uh, I feel like I've played all... Well, Oh, so songs in Clone Hero already, because I feel like a lot of people in Clone Hero just play official songs that they totally have the rights to. Uh, okay, this would be... Five? We have the... Oh, wait, no, sorry, there's a, there's a number somewhere. I'll just read the number, wherever the number is. Where's the number? Where's the number? I've forgotten where the number is. I thought it would have been on the wall here. Oh, wait. It's fine. <laughs> very, very dimly lit. Uh, okay, so in that case, let's... Read our handy dandy notebook. Look for number 5153. Okay. Dude, we are nearly done with this game. It's been it's been a trip. It's been a real like good fun trip just to play this game again. And I yeah, I really hope that, you know, everyone gives this one a go. It's a very fun Metroidvania. Uh, Vania. Uh, it's just Metroid. It's just Metroid. Um, the parts that I don't like about the game, it's like, yeah, some of the level design gets very labyrinthian. Uh, sometimes deaths are just a bit cheap. And that's what they have to save scum if you want to, you know, do a certain part of the game deathless, basically. Uh, let's go open the last schism. If I remember which door it was. I think it was this one. I'll know best on the music. We should hear, uh, PTSD. Yes. The best kind of... SD? There's lots of SDs. Sand disc. What does SD card stand for? I've forgotten. Um, so with our last retractor that we got from that other level, let's open the last dude and venture forth into the horrors that lie within. That's right. We are in... Florida. Summer camp. I, it actually, it sort of has a bit of the same aesthetic as uh, the Louisiana swamp. Um, but effectively, the gist of what they were going for is a summer camp basically run by a guy who is... Uh, da -da -da. I'll, I'll get the right one eventually. Run by a guy who, uh... Probably was, yeah, Vietnam vet. That's why. So, also, alleged rape of female officer. At least it was alleged. <laughs> Upon discharge, worked as a TV repairman. Indicted in the shooting of his mother. Was acquitted due to lack of evidence. This guy's doing alright. This guy's doing alright. He hasn't gotten caught yet. Joined American Knights of the Cross. Formed on Breakaway Splinter Group, Knights of the America Heartland, with Fortified Compound located near Eureka, Florida. 
Okay, the cross spears. Where is it? Ah, that. Yes. Uh, he subscribed to every known electronic space periodical and magazine. Okay. He then escaped from cuts custody. Ah, the bro could have gotten you know could have gotten fired, and then yep, murdered multiple people. Just for just for reference, if if someone is like, bro, like these are real serial killers, um, oh, <laughs> like I don't know, I'm, I'm just kind of joking about it. It's like, you know, oh, I was writing in this book, in this in this game. I feel bad if it's like real, because it's like, oh, I'm joking about stuff that actually happened. And at least, at least with the um, you know, like the like this guy doesn't have a date. Or he does, actually. 73. But at least this guy is like in the 80s. Or Jack 2. Sorry, it's a, it's a completely different... Completely different Jack. Similar to the 1988. Oh, wait, that's from the time when like, you know, people would have so many like... Um, superstitions about like, matching years. I remember uh, that one film, was it End of Days? And they were like... You know, the devil number is 666, but what's that upside down? 999. What's the year? 1999. The year of Satan's return. Like, something like that. And I'm like, where's the one come from? Don't say, don't do the nostalgia critic cat where he said 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 21. He said that, by the way. Grill him. He can't do math. I love the music. I love this just, like, sonar. It's part of the, the like... <laughs> and, and these royalty-free screams. Uh, Camp Ocala. I have never been to summer camp. I feel like it was a very Florida thing. Like, not even the rest of America, just... Very Florida thing. I love this tunnel, though. Um... But, uh... Effectively, as a Vietnam War vet, you gotta have lots of war sound effects and gunfire and stuff. Uh, this level has a .9... SMG, that is a 0 0.9 SMG. Just for note, 0 0.9. Gator Bob! Dude, I love Gator Bob. We didn't get to see any aliens, did we? Because I just... Hold on, do I still have that on? I do have Area 51 baddies. What is that doing? Who knows? It'd be very cool to open this up so that I could go back. What is... Oh, it's just a seagull. I'm like, what is that weird triangle thing over there? Now this level... I think it's much more fleshed out than the other one. Than the, uh, than the Nevada level. I hate lights. TVs. Apparently all TVs must die. Uh, there's 32 caddos in this level. Bit of a trek as well. This one is an absolute pain to find them all, so good luck if you actually do. You might think, oh, like, you know, straightforward, just like all the rest. Oh. Padlocked. Maybe I should just shoot the thing off. Isn't that an interesting, like, you gotta yes. look back to find the padlock? Rather interesting. Because remember, this is... Basically the last level. Uh, after this, you know, I'm just gonna walk into the other, uh, you know, Dark Souls and we'll be done skis with the game skis. Can I get the other? I assume the other padlocks probably for the end of the level. Um, but yeah, no, I, I've definitely enjoyed, even this remaster is like, you know, it's top shelf. It's, it's got a, a chock a block of content and I feel like it's got a very like, you know, just fun atmosphere, fun vibe. Not at all good. This is the part in Monsters University where Mike and Sully uh, decided to ignore the rules of humans having cooties. You remember that part? Because the original film took place afterwards. Isn't that weird? Like sequels, like forgetting, or prequels, forgetting, like, you know, that things shouldn't be established. Just have things that are actually like completely irrelevant and just shape the character as opposed to actually being directly connected. 
You don't need multiple characters to show up. Like, it doesn't need to happen, bro. You could just... Like, it's cool to have Randall be a villainous guy, it's cool, or at least develop into a villainous guy. But, like, you just need to come up with, like, reasons why, you know, none of it get, gets explained, I guess, in the later film. Or rather, the previous film, which takes place afterwards. You see, that's the problem with prequels. Is that, like, the audience knows the inverse of what the characters know. Oh my gosh! Gator! Time to suck his soul! You could use a shotgun, but I'm, I, I feel like sucking your soul is, you know, an easier thing. I've got a shotgun as well. A swamp. Look at this swamp water right here. What a, what a texture. What a texture. Amazing stuff. Very, very fun though. I have never actually, sorry. <laughs> This is summer camp, right? Yeah. Just the only summer camp in Florida. I would never, like, I hate, like, <laughs> I hate the outdoors, but, like, I actually hate, like, you know, like, just raw nature. And I know it's, like, isn't that, like, a bit, like, there must be something down here. I'm just gonna say, like, what's the term? What's the term? Intolerant? It's like, I don't know, like, it's just things I hate. I hate insects, like, going, you know, crawling everywhere. Does this continue? This looks like it continues. I'm gonna peer outside for a moment. I haven't gotten the teddy bear warp. I believe that's even later in the level still. Yeah, like look at all this stuff over here. Jeez. Um, but it's like I don't, I don't like the sensation of getting like, wet, or in the sense of like I don't want to like you know. If I, if I can not wash my clothes, that'd be cool. You know. I don't want to get it dirty and then I'm just like you know rocking dirt. And I know my clothes will naturally get dirty over time, but it's just like, yeah, like, I don't want to be wearing a t-shirt for the rest of the day and it gets dirty, you know what I mean? It's just like, keep it, keep it tidy, keep it neat. Um, sleeping outdoors, it's like, dude, I've had, like, insects. Insects love me for some reason. I get, like, terrible insect bites, uh, basically when spring comes. Like, I had some real bad ones earlier this year. And, uh, and yeah, whenever I do, like, school camping trips, it's just like, wow, every single bug loves, you know, deciding to <laughs> bite me with whatever they got, and I'll just, like, be suffering the entire, like, time. Shit. You can put on, like, arrow guard all you want. Also, this guy has a turret. And a shotgun. I'm apparently sucking that turret's soul. It doesn't need it. Soulless. That's not a shotgun. Oh, he has now become ectoplasm. Also, bear traps casually all over the shop. My life would be over if I hit a bear trap, I'll tell ya. You know how much I rely on my feet? A bit. Can you shoot him? Oh, you can. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Look at this gator chilling here. You got anything cool in the water? Oh my gosh, look at that. So, I know I have... I don't think I've really mentioned it. There is a Shadow Man sequel uh, in 2003. There actually was a sequel called... You seen like one frame with it? Yeah, yeah, where you can see the the ground above because it's it, I can see through the water. Why have they done that? But uh, there is a Shadow Man sequel. I don't know how good it is. I've never played it, and it lacks a remaster. So maybe it will happen one day, but at least today, it's not a thing. Uh, but what I didn't mention is incredibly recently, like, I think within the last few months, I think maybe before I started streaming this. Uh, Jesus. oh, let's check it out. Oh, there's the tape. There's the tape. The tape that was mentioned. This should be useful. As well as check out this outer. Very, very nice. What's on the picture? Oh. Oh. I am, ooh, a bit stuck here. Um. The, uh, 
they actually announced a reboot of Shadow Man. There is a Shadow Man reboot. Uh, there's a store page on Steam, and I don't really know much about it, but they are going crazy moody on the lighting. Um, so we'll see where this goes, where this franchise goes, but I guess I have now entered into the, uh, Shadow Man is now part of my repertoire of franchises I will locked. keep Damn noting. It locked. Locked. Damn it. Locked. Just remember, this is uh, something that was added in the game, you know, two years ago. As in, that is not an original bug they decided to keep. That is something brand new. What we got here? Let's have a light, shall we? This one of five would show that bleeding mask. Interesting. Lots of blood down here. I love the splatter. Very tasteful. Can't go into the rest of the movie theater, although you can probably spot on the text in the background. And the tongue to lap that vessel dry. Did I miss any text along the way? I'm an employee now. Still got the keyboards where Y and Z is flipped. Oh. oh, hi there. Ears pricked. Sever, to sever every scream. To savor. Sorry, he can't. He's he's got bad handwriting. God help us all. Teeth barred to strip the carcass wet. Oh, hi there. Oh, he's missing a bit of the innards and his hands, I guess. Oh, there's a hand. Oh, I guess that is a hand. I thought I thought that was like a sleeve. Remote control. Remote Maybe control. Use this. Very very useful. Turn that up. Opens the gates. Very very nice. Man, good thing the police only bought access to like some of these rooms, or else you know, I'd have nowhere to go. Lots of boxes, apparently. Oh yeah, who designed a hallway like this, by the way? Who said, yep. Who designed a, a, a room like this? A closet like this? Who did this? Hate lights. I think if you climb up here, it, it's really interesting that there's these like, massive air vents. Cado, chilling back here. If you wander in this direction, you've got a bit of a bit of a trek, a bit of a hike. Oh my gosh. Where am I going? Where am I going? Yeah, a fair bit of a walk. Time to give me the last post. Drop down and you are. Oh, here. This continues the level. Can I come back up? Ugh. There's a little bit more I just want to explore down there. Particularly over here, just for a moment. There must be something around here. There we go. This drops down halfway. Where there's a bunch of caddos and some ammo. Very, very nice. Mm, that's interesting. And a handprint. Interesting. Yes. Uh, yeah. We're at the end of, uh, of October. This is the end of the spooky season. The stream is on the 30th, so it's Hallow's Eve Eve. Um, if you are watching, well, the VOD will be uploaded on Halloween itself. So, uh, happy Halloween to everyone watching the VOD or not if you're watching afterwards, in which case you missed Halloween. It was pretty good. Um, and, uh, there we go. Yeah, I think I've gotten everything down here. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm curious. I have not been looking... I haven't seen any, like, amazing Halloween costumes yet. And I know it's not Halloween yet, but I know, like, some people are like, Oh, you know, it's... It's the last thing before Halloween, so... Pull out your spooky season. I enjoy that kind of stuff. It's great fun. Um... Yeah. Oh, it's, it's good. Alright, let's... Let us exit the movie theater. Oh... I thought I was exiting the movie theater. 
How much, like, floor space is in this theater? Dang, remember, this is still at summer camp. Unless we have entered some metaphysical world which encapsulates multiple of this, like, serial killer's, you know, tendencies in some weird abstract way. For example, can I turn on that? It's a bit of a vibe. I appreciate... Can you see that? They actually have the shadow. We'll see as I come down. I've never been one to like... I mean, I, I'm, I'm past the age where like... We had like... Actually, it might just be a very US thing, but it's like... We have not really had the patriotic... Uh... You know, kind of propaganda in a while. They got the shadows! Oh my goodness! How long has it taken us to just finally just done shadow maps? The resolution could be a bit better at 4K, but at 1080p it looks mostly okay. Mostly. Well, I'm done with that movie. Movies are for people who want to rot their brain. Sort of reminds me of the other level with a building that you had to exit involving a secret hallway behind the building. That's right, this level keeps going on for a bit. Where are we going? Just doors? Doors and fun places. This is a massive boat shed. Like, this is actually like 30 meters tall. This is like 16 chapel level of height. I have never seen a boat shed that big. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Don't like my crocodiles. Uh, but yeah. I know it's a bit too early for like year retrospectives, but I, I just want to say, because I, I think I did my first stream in November in 2020, so it's nearly been three years of this kind of stuff. Uh, mostly every week. There's been a couple of weeks where I was sick. Uh, certainly around the holidays, it's when I, you know, Decided to have a little bit of a time off, so uh, I appreciate uh, everyone who tunes in. Like, legit, uh, you know, like, given all the crazy stuff that happens in the world um, and all that kind of stuff, it's kind of good to know that, you know, there's people who do give some feedback and that kind of stuff. So I super appreciate all of you for, for sticking around and that kind of stuff. And, you know, like, even things like, you know, some people are like, oh, you know, like your subscriber count goes up. And it's like, yeah. But, like, the overall engagement is going up. Be Finally a warp, by the way. Well, the only thing we got to do now is, uh, there's an accumulator somewhere. Hopefully I remember where it is. Hopefully. Because this level keeps going on for a bit. We've got this wonderful swimming part where you can start swimming through this lake. And, uh, just start taking out every single crocodile with your, um... Uh, wait, not that weapon. This one, your Mac 10. Oh, sorry, your, your 0 0.9 SMG. Um, but yeah, no, I, I super appreciate just, like, everyone who gives feedback and that kind of stuff. I especially shout out to the dedicated person who's constantly showing up on the YouTube analytics who is, like, you know, there's a bunch of people who are really pushing the average watch time up. And, uh, that's the, the stat that really means the most to me. You know, like, knowing that people watch this, sick through this, um, you know, you're the real MVP, and I, I, I super appreciate it. Um, you know, some people do it for, for money, some people do it for fame, I do it because I want you to find some cool games that you enjoy, and hopefully enjoy a bit of commentary to go along with it. Some state of the world, uh, a little bit of a, uh, personal, um, this is me describing things happening and things in the way that I, you know, I see it and whether that's meaningful, who knows, but it's certainly fun to just, uh, also, yeah, since this is the last, side note, uh, since this is the last live side level, you gotta burn that ammo because you're never gonna be using your live side weapons for the rest of the game unless you return to these levels, but, you know, will you? Think about it, this sh this 
this lake is shaped like a heart. Oh, hi there. Hi there, how you doing? It's got a cool texture for a crocodile. See that? Wow. Very cool. I wish, I wish, like, every single animal could be domesticated just to, like, be like, yeah, cool animal. You know? Disregard how the, um, the alpha effect is currently working, where, like, you can see the... The, tr the vines, like, in the back. There must be another way in. There's a button over there. It's it's strongly lit. You can tell there's something to it. So, um, yeah. Also, shout out like if you're a person who watches, uh, you know, the streams or the vods through, uh, you know, some kind of service like Invidious or um, New Pipe or anything like that. You know, you know, you're also cool. There's lots of. Uh, Cool things. That is just a lamp. I just thought that was something more. Um, you're also cool. Even though you don't show up on my analytics, I know you're there. So, very cool. Feel free, by the way. Uh, it's just... I'd, no one's asked me, but just, just you know, feel free to distribute VODs and clips and all that stuff. And that's fine. You know. Copy free, man. I, I just make stuff and say stuff to the world and someone can... Clip it and save it and then tell me how embarrassing I am for changing my opinion within two months on computer hardware. Like I suddenly go, oh my gosh. 4900K is actually terrible. I just become an AMD fanboy overnight. Are fanboys even real or is it just bots fighting over each other to drive engagement? It's probably just the latter. Uh, there was one topic I thought it'd be, you know, good to follow up on just for the... Just for the moment, and that is, uh, Alan Wake 2 did actually come out. I talked about the, that... A little bit of a weird lighting there, but sure. Uh, I did talk about the, um, the incredibly high, uh, system specs, mostly because they were pushing for mesh shaders being a requirement. Um, as it turns out, with the game coming out, uh, a couple of things to note. One, it does sort of run like butt. It does, on the highest settings, before and even after ray tracing, it really does add a ton of, you know, you know, performance overhead. This is the part of the level I, you know, started to remember. It's like, it's just a mine. It just devolves into a mine. And, uh, I hope you like knowing where you're going, because there are split paths all over the place. And, uh, I might as well save just here, just because, uh, it's very easy to fall down into pits that I don't quite know how to get out of. And... You know, even though I'm not necessarily going for all the caddos, which there's still, there's still 37 in the game. I mean, I guess this would be the last level. Uh, so 16 right here. Oh, shit. What a wonderful, that probably, the Lord. that probably jumps into a very different room, but I love me my big cave. So this level, soft spot in my heart. I love it. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely like max out the settings. It does run like not amazingly but given some screenshots i can't i can't give you like i said this last week and i can't give you the full rundown until i play the game myself and that's not going to happen any day soon um but based on screenshots and based on the videos and then me trying to infer the two based on compression and stuff like that this game looks fairly good on low at 1080p. I would imagine maybe you want to bump up some texture settings on, you know, 1440p. Uh, I certainly can tell uh, stuff like ambient occlusion is off. Um, there's a bit more just death to, you know, objects by having ambient occlusion on. I think it's worth doing just for the visual change. Um, but for, uh, like, most things, it's like, you know what? Low looks really solid it doesn't look i think someone actually mentioned that on the ps5 itself uh they run low with some graphics tweaks which i think should be a sign that really this game might not necessarily be unoptimized and i think that's a, a key thing to note this game might not necessarily be unoptimized but it's certainly uh in the silly setting camp of 
yeah, you can turn up settings on a very, very low resolution monitor and just not see anything, but you're using so much more processing power. So why are we testing 1080p Ultra, you know, when 1080p High might be almost indiscernible? Um, the ray tracing certainly does give a little bit of extra character. Uh, the path tracing, weirdly, in some screenshots I saw, was removing some lighting that probably shouldn't have been, like, blurred or abstracted away. There are so many options I can go through right now. This place is going to be a pain, especially if I want to try and find that secret. The secret, for reference, off the top of my head, is just... Uh, like, somewhere. There's a... There's a corridor. If I walk through that specific corridor, I will get that secret. I just don't know what the corridor is. Unless it's literally this one. Nope. It would have been, it would have been a wonderful guess if it was that one. Well, I guess I now know which way I'm going. Look at this blue water. Will they even allow you to jump off? Oh, I saved it at the top, didn't I? Yeah. Oh well. We won't test the blue water right now. Oh, look, I'm back over here. Uh... Is this a similar boat? Maybe this area isn't as snaking as I thought. It reminds me of... It's probably because it's more fresh in my brain, but I played Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines like... Oh, was it the beginning of the year? I think it must have been at the beginning of the year. I'll check the date. And, um... Oh, like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this is gonna be very awkward. I guess I'm just gonna have to walk it. There we go. I wonder what's round here. <laughs> oh, this isn't this isn't getting any better. We're just snaking around. There must be something around here. More blue water. Caddo. Um. But yeah, no, it it does look good at low. Hmm, I wonder what that symbol means. Well, that symbol. Let's just push that. actually drop down into it as well if you want and that should allow you to jump up here and get the final the fifth the final accumulate this one man this is special this should be they special. cared about this one it's not just in a room they legitimately cared about this one why it's here i'm not 100 percent sure but hey you know points for points for style on this one question is, um, where am I going still? Because, uh, I am constantly descending. What is this, Spec Ops the Line? Game be like, oh, dude, you're trying to grab on like a weird angle. Oh, it lets me, it lets me do it. So I'll keep touring around until I somehow find a corridor that will just casually grant me the secret. Wonderful green crystal cave. They must have really liked Tomb Raider, didn't they? Um, the other thing of note uh, with the Alan Wake 2 thing is that the... Um, interestingly, like I know they said that, oh, mesh shaders were a requirement, so that rules out the older graphics cards. They had a vertex shader in the works, but it was not ready in time. And that's why there's a hard requirement. Um, interestingly, the game shipped with, uh, attempted support for the older cards. As in, try to run the game with an older card, and it will say, hey, your card doesn't support all the newest features. Just no. But it tries. It continues going. Uh, we are back at the top. or well, top-ish. I might do another look, because I know I dropped down a pit. Um... Be the quickest way around, I guess, going around here. One climb and a bit of a walk. Yes. Um, but yeah, interestingly, uh, people were able to test on a 5700 XT and a 1080 Ti. And what they found was it runs terribly. It actually runs really atrociously. Probably because 
Um, it's one of either two things. Either the Vertex shader implementation is very, very slow. Um, or it's actually trying to run the mesh shaders under the hood. And then it goes, oh, well, I can't do that, so I'm just going to do a mesh shader implementation, which is, um, sorry, a vertex shader implementation, which is probably how, um, how it works. Um, yeah. There we go. Let's try and jump forward. Oh my gosh, that's a bit of a doozy. Is it this away? Is this the path? Is this where I was wanting to go? Oh my goodness. Oh, it, yeah. Hey, there you go. There you go. So congrats. That is the second last secret. What was it? What was the secret? What do we have? I like dead side guns. Yes, your guns are now... What do we got going on? Do they look different? Stand in the light. Let's see if I can see... Well, probably never be able to know. I can't see it from that angle or this angle. I'm not sure. Someone might correct me. And be like, oh, yeah, it actually does this. But uh, yeah, the last secret is going to be very obvious, so don't worry about that. Uh, this area still snakes around and really does go all over the place. So legit, if you're going for all the caddos. This is just painful, because you've just got to somehow find all this stuff. Um, but eventually, we did wander into the area I needed to go to, which I will now proceed to not be able to find again. Like, I'm swimming around, thinking... Is this... This is back at the start, isn't it? Like, even earlier in the start. Actually, no, this is, uh, you're climbing up there and then you drop down, that's why. Um, but yeah, so it does, it does run terribly with, um, the older cards. Not sure if it would have with a properly supported Vertex shader, but in its current state, the cards that are not supported really are just not supported, which is a bit of a shame because the 5700 XT is not a very old GPU and it's, uh, it's rather quick to rule them out. But I think an interesting thing to note is how um, older games uh, in like 2015 or 2016, similarly, when a new console generation became the de facto of the you know of new games, new games would come out and they just wouldn't be supported on the Xbox 360, or they weren't really built for the 360 in some way, um, like that kind of stuff. You know, you get have games like The Witcher 3. I'm, I'm particularly noting a few from a Hardware Unbox podcast or, or Q&A. Sorry, it's from the Q&A. Um, The Witcher 3, uh, Fallout 4, and, uh, one other one? I won't be able to remember it, but, uh, effectively the games were not running particularly great on two-year-old hardware, let alone, at least, 5700 XT is just two generations old. Uh, you know, it's about four years old, so... I still don't like the idea of, you know, things getting ruled out, but it seems to be something that just always does happen, because when something is really sort of on the cusp of a new console generation, you're not 100% sure what that new console generation is actually going to implement and, uh, and, uh, you know, have as a feature. Uh, it seems that ray tracing and virtually everything NVIDIA's been doing has been, you know, the go-to. Uh, and the consoles run on RDNA 2, so uh, the safe bet is anything also on RDNA 2 is generally on point. Um, do I drop down here or is this too far back? No, we're back down here, right? Where did that one pit? Where did the accumulator... Like, where did that connect to? On the other side? You didn't have to just go past the accumulator, did you? Really? Hmm. Well, I might as well go out that way, I guess, then. Um. This area does just keep going on, doesn't it? I think this is the reason why I was like, eh, this level. 
Yeah, that's probably why. It's just like, man, lots of snaky areas. All it does, it does give me, you know, the complete urge to play Unreal again, like the original. Because that game has the most incredible mountain levels. No game can compare to Unreal's mountain levels. I, I'm walking in a circle right now, aren't I? I climbed out at some point. I'm now hugging the left wall. This is where you drop down, so keep that keep that position in mind. That leads back down. And then there was this walkway. And then went up and around, I think. Yeah. It kind of took me a bit to like find that. And then I actually want to go this way. Because I want to drop down the hole. Just to figure out where I was going. So, dead end, but obviously it links into this greater area, which was open the entire time. And I could have just walked through here, and I didn't. Because I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a dumby. I'm a bit of a dumby. Okay, well, now I know my level again, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, so I don't have too much more to say about the Alan Wake 2 thing, but I would just say... Keep a bit of an open mind. I know some people are like, oh, you know, like, unoptimized. It runs like trash. And I, I, I do get that. Like, if it, if it doesn't run on your computer, or it runs like butt, uh, that's not acceptable. But, on the other hand, it's like, it's... Doesn't... It doesn't seem like it's running worse than it should. Well, uh... I'm missing something if I'm going this direction. Isn't that weird? I've figured out how to wander to the end of the level before I've figured out... What that second padlock at the beginning of the level was. Uh, this is actually just an exit. Isn't that weird? I wandered basically the right way to begin with, and now I'm just like, where am I going? I'll get there, I'll get there. I mean, I know I turned this way instead of going left, which I guess just so happened to be the way to go. Because then you get to do this jump. So, uh, yeah, I don't have too much to say other than yeah, like you know, we got some October releases. Uh, Spider-Man Two and Mario Wonder came out the week before, so so much to say there. The new WarioWare I think is out before the next stream, so hopefully that's a good one. Um, other than that, I don't really have too many more like things to say. Technology is. Currently in rumor mill territory because Nvidia's released most of their graphics, or all of their graphics cards, basically except for a 4050, which I still hope a 4050 is decent. I was really hoping that, given the 1650 Super was very, very decent for its price, and then the 3050 was okay, but it really costed like 100 US dollars more than it should have, and it still does. It it costs so much. I know the 3050 does struggle on newer games. I get it. It, what well, every card does. Uh, what it should be is fairly competent at older games, and it sort of is, but it's also a $340 card, and you might as well just buy the actual, you know, 3060 when that was a thing, or the 3060 Ti when that was on refurbished discounts, or the 4060 now that that's a thing, although that's going up in price right now, so. That's not really a great card other than, like, the 4070 and the 7800 XT, that just seems to be where the value is right now, which is rather unfortunate. Graphics card prices need to adjust better. At least with processors, you know, it's like... 14th gen is... You know... Almost a toss-up. So drop down here... Yeah, this totally reminds me of that one area in Vampire the Masquerade where, like, you had the, the Vampire Hunter... Show up near the end of the game and he, like, jerry-rigged... A freaking bomb to explode when you killed him. Hey! You! This is private property! What the hell you think you're doing, boy? I boy. boy. <laughs> I ain't your boy, Don't pal. Don't you get uppity with me. You trespassing on my property. I can call you anything I choose, boy. I didn't see no signs, fatso. That's cause you didn't arrive by the front door. No, there were plenty of signs an anyways. Invitation, fat man. I've been sent here by a higher power. I'm the only power around these parts, boy. You gonna find that out soon enough. 
You're going to find out what survival is all about, just like a rerun of the NAM. It's Judgment Day for you and all your kind. This is the end, beautiful friend, for we are many. This guy is just like, how many Apocalypse Now Jesus, references I can I go? This can I do? Shit. I don't need this. Hey, he is flooring. He's going for it. He's got a bit of a jam for his boss tune. Boss music going on. Also, for how large everything is, this helicopter is very normal size, if a little bit small. I think it's sort of still playing the last post. He has a grenade launcher and an M4, and the, uh, just like everyone else, apparently doesn't have that much health. I swear they used to have more health. Maybe older versions of the remaster. He didn't really put up with much of a fight, did he? Consider that a dishonorable discharge, boy. Boy. Dark souls are mine. Look at that, another Dark Soul. Already. We're at 118. We are nearly there. You think I'd be doing this part so quick because I was picking up all those Dark Souls at the beginning so quick? Nah, man, these levels. These levels are gnarly. These levels have a fair bit going along with them. Again, I'll finish the boss music. What an intriguing, like, pair of levels, though. And also, like, what is going on down here, man? Is there anything? This fog is insane. <laughs> You'll never be able to see if there's caddos, like, more than, like, two feet. Oh, there are caddos down here. Ah. Oh. good vibe of a song though um and yeah like what a what a curious set of levels all this like even the the experimentation rooms level it's like all very curious and and it certainly you know adds up this there's, there's more areas to the game there's more bosses there's more songs there's more like everything it's it's a really like remarkable you know, port because there is so much cut content that they're like, yeah, we can finish it and sort of integrate it in a very faithful way. Like, when I played through this game for the first time, it seemed natural. There were five serial killers, there were five, you know, doorways at the church, there was, you know, it made sense. I sort of definitely felt that this level and the other level were noticeably larger. But it's not like a thief gold moment. It's not like that. It says TNT on it, but uh, it ain't working. Um, it's not like a thief gold moment where you can absolutely tell which levels are the, the newer ones because they're just massive and long. It's like this fits. It's got it's got some bits here and there, but like you know, it fits for the most part. It's because the cut content is like very consistent, I guess. Also, rip to the people who can't walk on lava. You just get thrown off right there. <laughs> Continuing down the hallways of mysteries and nightmares, we have arrived at. That's right, that's what this block was. <laughs> well, that is a lot of caddos I didn't pick up, but I feel like 638 is a, a decent score, so. Keep that in. I'm not going for 666. 638 is my real lucky number. Is this like a church? Is it? No. What is... What even are these like weird like tombs and stuff? Uh, you'll miss this weapon wheel. There will be no more... You know, we've filled every slot. This is basically it. I'm pretty sure like the keys and just some other things in there. Fill up the remaining spots. The uh, the eclipse of parts. Yeah. Also, did I say 638 is my final score? Because, uh, what are the odds? I'm pretty sure only one level didn't put anything behind here. There we go. 639. Which is still a multiple of 9. Through here, we are in the final of the engine block areas. That's right, you've got to swim through lava, so again... This sort of stuff, if you just, you know, we're doing this as you went along. You pretty much had to, you know, had to keep it gentle. And sort of, you had to know which levels 
were the easier ones to do. Like, especially the one that gives you the... You know. If you don't know that the, the Jack the Ripper level is the first one, you get very stuffed. Oh, check it out, I can use... I guess that's what the secret does. Turns on the, uh, the live side weapons and dead side. Good to know, I'm glad we found that one out then. Okay, I'll take it, I'll, I'll treat it proper for now. Let's not have the, the live side guns in dead side, but... Do note, that is what that secret does, which I think is definitely worth it. The one secret that actually modifies the game in some capacity. You think that would be the one for after collecting every Dark Soul as well, and not the, not the one for that particular level? Because, uh... I don't think you could wander there, there's too much swimming. There's too much swimming to, um, do it before the Eclipse. But, after that, I mean, you could probably walk into that secret. Good old, good old rooms, um... Yeah, uh... If there's anything anyone's like hyped for before the end of the year or even early next year, uh, let me know because uh, I, I know I was saying like, oh man, I hate how games get like overhyped and stuff like that. Um, I didn't even like go into like the full topic, but like things like Starfield, um, sort of sitting in that period where like a lot of people did talk about it like way before release, and then it came out and we played it for a bit. Uh, and by we, I mean you, because I haven't. And if you haven't, then okay, we're in the same boat. Uh, and, uh, people are like, it's fine. Sometimes they're a bit reductive, and they're like, yeah, like, this game is just a game where you walk around, and you pick up quests, and you go to places, and you shoot some people to walk to an objective, which I feel like is exactly how you can describe Fallout 4, and, uh, perhaps every Bethesda game. We're really reductive. It lives and dies by the quality of its writing, and, uh, sometimes people are like, yeah, the AI-generated scripts that they used, not exactly great and stand out uh, at times so I guess it depends on what you like but easiest thing we can do is uh, give direct feedback what are the things you see and how do you feel because uh, if a game does things that you don't like it doesn't really matter how they made it if you don't like it you don't like it so you know let that feedback be known who puts a door up here like maybe it's a dead side thing Ooh. Fries? No, 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 there's no fries here. Check it out, there's a room in there. Because there's still two more Dark Souls, who would have thought? Isn't it weird that there were like, was it four or five Dark Souls in just one of the, like, one of the, um, the particular exits? Because there's no Dark Souls when you enter the, the front way. You just have to go to the side way. Ah, here we go, we gotta deal with... Oh, oh, hi there, yeah, you got there in the end. Uh, I'm gonna go gentle for now. We're gonna use, uh, the purple, the purple drink. The lean, if you will, as the kids call it. I'm too old, man. I, I am so old, I just lose track of all these, like, trends. Even stuff like, I, I, it's not, it's not exactly that I'm, like, old, but it's that I, like, I have lent off, like, you know, really lots of, like, content aggregation sites, so it's just like, I don't know, I don't stumble upon things really as much anymore. People sending me things like the Amazing Digital Circus, and it's just like, man, you know, you're telling me this for the first time. <laughs> like, I've never seen it, and people are like, what do you mean, man? Everyone's drawing art upon me. I'm like, yeah, if you go on, like, Twitter and stuff. I know I mention occasional people on Twitter, but, uh, I don't have the recommendations on. Before you say, not all that art upon me is wholesome, I know. I don't ask for it, but people send it. Why do people do this, you know? <laughs> like, just... I know, Twitter doesn't have any, you know, real hard rules on that kind of stuff. Power of the Dark Souls. I the power of the Dark Souls. I embrace it. Congrats. We have achieved... 120 Dark Souls. There are no more Dark Souls left in the game, and the game itself is just like, I don't know, shut down the pistons. There is, indeed, 
Two coffin gates, as we saw, that are level 10. They are only opened once we have hit level 10. And I will show off both of these because that is your 100% reward. That is the real 100% reward. And you should feel good for getting that. Um, but yeah, as a, as a, I guess, to, to just overview again, what did you actually need in order to beat the game? Uh, the answer is uh, level 9. So you needed 95 to basically get that last retractor. Um, you might be able to say then I didn't get any Dark Souls afterwards, but you're probably going to accidentally pick up, not accidentally, but like, you're probably just going to be in the path of at least a good number of Dark Souls. Like all of these, you know, like engine room, engine block Dark Souls are just, you know, they're there. How can you really miss them, you know? You're walking through this area and it's just like, yeah. That guy, the best part, I know I need to go back to that one, uh, that one little zip line. This is a bit of a jump, ain't it? Bit of a jump. Very, very interesting jump. Crawling along. It's not really crawling at this point. Uh, but yeah. It's, it is a curious game structure-wise, because the whole goal is to take out these serial killers, but you're really how you spend most of the game is exploring around areas, uncovering these Dark Souls, and gaining, you know, additional abilities and things like that. Um, and it is curious, I, I, like, I knew it was going to be a five-stream game, but I was a little, you know, surprised that, like, I was driving the streams for a very, very long time, like, you know. Last week's one ended up being three hours. Oh, we're at the end already. Cool. Okay, what number are we up to? We're up to three. Let's check the, the book. Uh, we're doing four, three, one. The worst... Actually, it's not the worst combo. Use the key. Move this one up. I still haven't done the very, very first one, so... But, you, know, you need to go there anyways. Well, technically, you don't need to go to to the panel for the first one, but you need to go basically to the floor. It counts, it counts. Drop that, and we have now deactivated five of the pistons, as you can see here. And that's basically the the only reason why you kill these serial killers, is to be able to walk here. And that is where we enter from, so... Let's get our goodies, get our rewards. There is... Wow, it spoiled the... It literally says there's a secret. It said the item name right there. And, ooh, do you have a unique line of dialogue after I've done everything? Mikey, what's up? You're looking more peaked than you usually do. It's Nettie. She's fallen. You said this already. Cool. Uh, I'm not so cool. Um, <laughs> I'm glad it spoiled the fact that there was a door, an item, and a secret. All combined. Oh, that's the aliens. I was like, what on earth am I looking at here? I'm done looking at aliens. I don't want to look at aliens anymore. I do want shotgun heads to still be on though. Keep that one on. It's very, very fun. But yeah, with level 10, it's like, well, your bar goes to level 10. Yeah, if I had to criticize this game for a couple of things, yeah, the level design does get a bit, you know, confusing just naturally. And uh, no amount of remaster can be faithful unless you change that a bit too much. So they decide to go faithful. I'm fine with it, people who replay the game will get used to it, but on the first playthrough, oh boy, it is a bit gnarly. The hints certainly help a ton, and I very, very appreciate that just for, you know, the casual player or the, someone who's like me, it just not, doesn't even matter. <laughs> I've only played through this game really once. We can open this level 10 door and witness the treasure that is on the other side. That's right. The very, very last secret is actually just through here. You can now play as the wireframe. So, uh, begin to cheat. You can now see what the level looks like. Um, interestingly as well, you could probably see, uh, maybe not right now. Although, uh, that's a bit interesting with the wireframe on. Check this out. Ooh. Some kind of zygote going on. This should be Grab this, though. This is the book of shadows aka 
a book congratulating you for playing the game. Now as you come to Journey's End, please accept this gift, dear friend. This book of shadows, a small token. Words of thanks, softly spoken, for playing through our little story and taking Mike to his dark glory. And so to you we do present works of art, words of intent, to give credit where it is due to those who brought this tale to you. What a lovely poem. But before you go, please think again. This game is not the world of men. True horror lies outside your door in torture, murder, rape, and war. Outside the horror will persist, for shadow men do not exist. And killers too are not so slick, just sad, pathetic, weak, and sick. But thanks to you again, dear friend, this tale of Shadow Man must end. Perhaps one day we'll meet once more when comes Asmodeus's Dark Sword. And you can see Shadow Man is actually a comic. Like, I know I probably mentioned it, but like, there's actually like some panels. <laughs> Bit hard to read some of the text in there. Bit JPEG going on. There's an arrow covering some of that. But, um, but Shadow Man is a comic, and some of this art indicates, like, I assume these are. You know, this is concept art for the sisters. Um, spoilers, whoops. <laughs> it's a bit of a final boss going on. There's lots of, like, fun art just all over the place. Of, uh, very, very interesting things. Lots of skulls, there's Shadow Man himself. I love, uh, I love just the different, you know, like, the depth of his eyes. Very receded in. And they were very... <laughs> they made him look very malnourished already. Just in the art style. There's probably things in here that didn't even come to be as well. And I'm very certain like there was a pyramid. We did see a pyramid. Uh, maybe there's been a bridge. Jaw bones. Wonderful, wonderful bikini. Very, very nice. Definitely saw some of these. Did they, did they draw boobers in my game? Can't believe it these big dudes and some of the stuff it's like yeah you'll probably know you know where some of this happened and uh, I really do wish there was a chainsaw or bunches of these melee weapons uh, this actually I think this would be the burning building right so uh, yeah a uh, little crane this is a fun bit of art ain't it do not know who this is mm, we didn't really get to this guy not sure where this one is. These guys we definitely know of. Uh, and these guys. Uh, this didn't exist in the game before. So uh, <laughs> thank you 1.5 patch. Thank you Samuel Villarreal. Uh, even though I know you do mostly engine work, it's like, you know, everyone who brought this game to life and especially bringing these, you know, these monsters that didn't actually exist into the light of day. Very, very nice. Are these like promotional posters? They seem very odd. Uh, who would put this as a poster in their room? I love just the text. It's a very 90s thing to have just like digital text all over the place. I love it's just using like, you know, the, like these are these are probably the beta models. That's that's probably the, the reason why. Shadow Man literally is just him with his shirt open and blue jeans and like eight polygons for his shoes. <laughs> Uh, very, very nice. Um, here's your villains. J Johnny's there for some reason. Here's your villains again. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> lots of art, lots of cool stuff in here. Very, very nice. Very, very cool. There, there's that villain again. In fact, someone's probably... I'm actually curious as well, because I know this Book of Shadows... I'm pretty sure it existed in the original game, and I'm not sure how much of this art was in the original game. Uh, but certainly it's like you're seeing like enemies and things that just didn't, you know, they don't exist. This art slaps. I love it. And there's Shadow Man again. Maybe they were intending for more loading screens like that. Oh, hi there, teeth. And we're back. Oh, <laughs> I am the Shadow Man. There he is. The real Shadow Man right there. This guy's working out the library. Teeth jump scare. It's supposed to be a vampire person. What is with like everything like demon and showing like you know belly buttons? Is that like a thing? It must be a thing, right? Dude, they didn't have like 
most of the stuff didn't even exist in the game, man. This is just like stuff they drew. They're probably brimming with ideas. You know. Soaking in the comics, soaking in like all the stuff that they can implement and draw and stuff like that. Dude, I would love to be an artist and you just like draw this kind of stuff all day and it's just like, you know. Just seeing this is like fun and inspiring in some way. Someone might go like, uh, it's a bit sick and twisted that you just draw that on your... For a Shadow Man game. Or something, you know, like... You gotta represent cynicism... Oh, not cynicism. S sinisterism. You know what I mean? Like, the, uh, you know, something evil. You need to visually represent it in some way. And we're all like, you know, skulls, bones, like, you know... Things that are unnatural. Unnatural is basically the easy term. We are still going through, by the way. There is, like, dozens. We might be leaning towards, like, 100 or 200 pieces of art. We might be here forever if I just, like, keep going through. Look at that little guy. I want him. I want him. Very cool. There's the mid-drift again. It's not really a mid-drift. There's no drift. That's a mid, like, car park going on. Who is this person who keeps showing up? And yeah, there's like this like weird, you know, soul-sucking kind of hub going on. Look at that date, 22nd of May, 1997. Whoa. Wonderful arts of engines and bricks and stuff. We are at the beginning. We are at the beginning. So, what a wonderful prize. What a wonderful, like, reward for, you know, experiencing everything in the game. Which is why the remaster added in another t level 10 gate. Just so you can keep, just so you can keep feeling like there's a little bit more to it. Um, it was... Oh boy, it was somewhere in this level. We walked up to it, so I know it's... Through, I think it is up in this direction. But we're probably gonna have to fight through a bunch of enemies to get there. So... The stream shall not end. Because remember, I gotta beat the game as well. We got a boss to beat. And it really takes <laughs> it takes my sweet time when I when I start jumping like that. So um, yeah. So yeah, I I'm, I'm counting the streams left. I think after the stream, I think there's well, we'll have four November streams, and I think I'll probably have three December streams because uh, Christmas Eve I think is on a Monday. So. Uh, seven more streams left. Uh, I have a game that I think will definitely take three streams. It, sorry, three. Seven streams. And I think that'll be a good one to end the year off with. That's the thing, is that, like, I wanted to play... I, I say that as if it's like, oh, progressively I gotta play these games. No, I'm not just playing games that I think are cool and fun. Um, what I want to do is, uh, make sure I'm not, like, you know, holding on the same game for too long, but... You know, like this is a this is a great length of game, you know, 10, 12 hours. Lots of things you can show off. Lots of things you can do. Um, I do want to play another RPG of some kind, and I know I played Pokemon earlier this year, so uh, it might be a bit of a bit of a push to um, you know, keep Pokemon in the rotation again. I actually I do really want to make sure that uh, if I did play. Uh, a DS Pokemon, because I guess that is next in in line, isn't it? I get to finally... That's the... There's like a handful of games that I played back in the day that I just never like finished or really like showed off uh, to their fullest degree. Uh, Shadow Man was not one of them. Um, but uh, Pokemon Diamond was effectively like the first one I like hard dropped. Uh, partially because emulating DS games was rather like new at the time. Like, Pokemon Diamond, when I played it, uh, was the newest Pokemon game. And, uh... Yeah, no, emulators were just, like, they tried. They weren't amazing, though, but they tried. I believe the door is in this direction. I'm very certain it was through some hard way out here. Pathway. So if we find an open kind of exit, I'm in the right place. So that's good. Oh, look at that, an open exit. I'm in the right place. Heck yeah. 
I knew exactly where it was. So, wander over to this level 10 door, put in your effort, finally, this is the last coffin gate of the game. And, yes, it doesn't exist in the base versions. This whole room just didn't exist. The level existed, but not the room. So what have we got in here? Well, a door. There's no way I'm gonna get through here. 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 This is actually a cadeau block, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. There's no way I'm gonna get through here. Bonus video time. This is actually a cadeau blocker. Holy crap. There's no way I'm gonna get through here. Oh. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a bonus video. <laughs> no wow, I had completely forgotten that this door only opens when you've gotten every cadeau. No Which means... I've got how many levels I gotta wander through? I gotta wander through every single live side level. Well, maybe not that. No, I... Three of them. <laughs> three of the... Three of the levels. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well... Keep this a mystery. No I shall put a bonus through. video on YouTube at some point. Uh, showing me picking up no way the remaining caddos. I'll just say that. And uh, then witnessing what lies beyond this door. The true, the absolute true final boss. Do I remember? Not at all. Uh, but I think we've got one more final boss. We've actually got a final boss to fight. I don't think that, there's no like secret ending, I believe. Hopefully not. And if not, then... Ooh. But yeah. Ah, I completely forgotten that that existed, so... Let's turn off the last piston via the actual method that you're supposed to go through, and I gotta lure this guy out again, don't I? Actually, I gotta lure multiple guys out. Ah, I completely forgotten. I wish there was like a Cado tracker, though, in in game or something because uh oh boy that they, they are a bit painful to pick up uh is he gonna come out he totally is can they at least fix this can they can, can you know can replaying the, the the game can they make this a little bit gentler because it's so annoying that that guy is just out of reach I've, I've, I've never appreciated that. This one. Oh, he might be already gone. I don't think he is. I think he's just rotating. Uh, I can't have just gotten him with that. Yeah, yeah, he's just rotating. Phew! Enough time to zoom past. And then never have to climb on him again. At the very least, you know, this level has no caddos. So you don't have to worry about re-backtracking to this level. Uh, unless you miss the Dark Soul, in which case... Whoops. But you probably shouldn't miss them. They, it seemed fairly straightforward to get them. But I don't know, like, how was this game on your first playthroughs if you played it? If you haven't played it, give it a go after after this. And what are we doing? We're doing 555. Five, five. That would have been an easier one to guess, wouldn't it? This is number one, right? Yeah. That would have been an easy combo to guess. like engine noises someone's gonna say oh you're really going back for your shadow man bonus video but you haven't done your super mario land 2 bonus video yeah, yeah. i'll get around to it i'll get around to it finally we have turned off all the engines all the pistons which means this entire walkway is now completely clear it's a lot easier to just walk back to the start. So let's give it a save here because well, we're at this point. Now in front of the warp you can now climb across all the pistons since they've now all stopped. I think I had the closest one stopped off so you couldn't see this in progress. It's rather caked. It's a bit just like oh, okay I'm diving through but Luke. You remember why we were doing this to begin with?
Luke, then don't move. Don't Stay let there. Them catch you. I'm coming to get you. Proceeds to run Jesus, away. Jesus, Luke, no! It's almost as if he's dead, and he's a bit of a dumb kid. Good thing you can pick up weaponry here. And lots of, uh, skull teeth. Do I keep calling them teeth? They're not teeth at all. They're like little tiny skulls. So, we walk through the door. Ish. Where's the door? Unfortunately, I don't think any of these guys pop out. You're just chasing the kid. Oh. Where's the gun? Oh, there he goes. Also, I guess, uh... Just keep it in mind how many of these uh, extra monsters there were. We didn't really take out all of them. Luke, dude, he's got a big chair. Are. What you doing Kicking running his away feet. like that? Luke, speak to me, kid. Hiya, Mikey. Glad you could make it. I've been waiting for you. I was scared. We scared. scared they were gonna catch me. That you weren't. Dude, he's got a massive forehead. What the heck? Here, Luke. You should have known I'd always be there for you, bro. There were bad things in the dark. Better than the boogeyman. They did stuff to me. Stuff I don't want to think about. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Luke. Hey, you want to hear a joke, Mikey? Sure. Once upon a time, there was a murderer and his victim walking hand in hand towards some deep, dark woods. What a great joke. The victim squeezes the murderer's hand real tight. He says, looking up pleadingly with big brown eyes, I'm real scared, mister, of the deep, dark woods. Luke, what the hell? He sighs and he says, you're scared. How the hell do you think I feel? I'm gonna be walking back through them on my own. That's a pretty good one. Pretty funny, hey, Mikey. Pretty goddamn amusing, don't you think? You ain't Luke. You ain't my brother. Wow. Who could who could have who could have found that one out? Prize. It was never your brother. Just a little insurance to get you here. Really, Michael, you must learn to let the dead rest in peace. Who are you? And he asked him. What is thy name? And he replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. It's got a cool sword, though. Shadow Man, our Legion also. The souls of the many fill your vitals to bursting. To hell with this obscure shit. I don't need it. All I need to know is that I'm gonna take you down. You really don't get it, do you? You're even more of a posturing fool than I first believed. When I came up with my grand and incredibly brilliant plan, which you will know as the prophecy. He's got all something those weird going on with his ago. voice. He's like, what? You created the He's prophecy. got like a like a <laughs> that, that probably made someone panic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Surely fellas. I was trying to do the um the like, about the, like the old gods weird little like the knowledge to the ancients. Grizzly, like there's something the technical going on with his voice going on. I don't know that. It was I who spoke to the ancients in their dreams and planted the seed for my triumphant return. Of course, all those years ago, I couldn't have hoped for a more willing puppet. Luckily, the puppet is you, Michael Lehoi. And of course, Ooh, now that you have right. so kindly presented poor Luki with his teddy bear, it is impossible for you to leave. You bastard! Thank you. I suppose you've read the Le Cat, for it is written, and Legion took the power of the Dark Souls unto him. I knew that the Dark Souls would be difficult to get, and I needed someone to bring them to me. And here you are. So that's right, the entire game was kind of moot because power, doing nothing would have actually I worked. I to energize my dark engine Ish. and project Ish. my armies across Probably give him the infinite time, he would have fa uh, found all the Dark Souls anyways, but... In the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. It isn't over yet. Oh, I think it is, Michael. Well and truly over. We spoke the word to Pike, Batrachian, Cruz, and the others, Batrachian. so that they might open the way. 
We whispered sweet nothings into Nettie's ear as she lay sleeping, and she sent you to us, like the proverbial lamb to the slaughter man. The power is within you, Shadow Man. The power to unleash the apocalypse upon your pissant little world. The throne awaits you, Michael Lavoie. You are the fuel for a great engine, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. Amen to that. So, uh, oh, he's coming at you. I'm going to just drop another save right here, because I'm pretty... I think there is a, uh, a death cutscene? Yeah, we got a death cutscene. This is the way the world ends, Michael. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Goodbye. So he drains you of all your dark souls and uh look at him go! Look at him go! No. Oh god no! Shut up! <laughs> With a whimper. I thought you'd like a, a failure ending. Don't even get any music, you don't need it. Uh, also, thank you game, thank you Remaster for that one, because uh... That's a very necessary thing. Alright, let's actually fight this guy, so uh... Probably, uh, very likely you're just gonna blast his butt. I know you could use two hands on the um... On the accumulator. Oh my gosh. I should probably grab some health beforehand. I don't think he's that bad though. Get up. He's Get pretty up, easy. Bastard. But you know, you know how it do be. It would appear that I am done for. You didn't reckon on the fact that the dark souls I now possess would give me even greater power. Power enough to take you down. You might think that. But unfortunately, and once again, you are woefully mistaken. What oh. the f oh. Jesus. Now you will die! Look at that fun model they used for like two seconds. Also, the floor gave way for some reason. Not very interesting. Hopefully I got enough ammo in this thing, and uh, he doesn't keep popping me off with these, which uh, will just trickle down my health. So maybe I should just drop down, because there's barrels sound here. Very, very fun. Lots of ammo, lots of stuff. Um, I think the same rules apply. He also comes down to say hi to you. But I like me a good old flying boss. You can't, you can't go wrong with a flying end boss, right? Very fun, very, very, uh, cool and chilling. Oh, and he's got a laser as well. Keep blasting him, keep blasting him. I think he's suffering. No, he's not. He's not popping the, <laughs> the soul gun, though. Keeps walking out of the way. Come on, come on, come on. I keep expecting him to like die in like 20 seconds, I don't know why. Something a little phallic looking about it though. Oh, there he goes. Let's not take a last minute hit. This was the one flaw in your plan, Legion. The Dark Souls have given me the power to defeat you. I've read my prophecy. And Legion shall take the Dark Souls unto him. Well, here they are. <laughs> There's apparently lightning in the world. To make a fast exit. So apparently, oh God, the lad's got him bloody done it. Looks oh like you owe me that drink, Michael. That's that's what we did this for. Walker between the worlds. Hey, that enemy's chilling there. As a god, I stamp upon the writhing face of the dead side serpent. Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing death blow, the horror, 
There you go. We need a one last soliloquy, and that's it. That's Shadow Man remastered almost all of its, its entirety. I will show just that bonus video, just picking up those last few caddos and showing you what you get right at the very end of that last magical door. But uh, yeah, no, there's Samuel Villarreal. Thank you, my man. There's, there's a bajillion other people involved. Um, and including as well, all the people who worked on the original game itself. So you can't you can't knock off everyone there. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I I legit I, I love this package. I, I I appreciate everything you get out of it, except you don't get the original version of the game. And I do I do wish it did have that. But um, uh, you know, as like they put in the effort to make new content match the original, uh, finish the content that was planned or had assets for. Um, sort of reincorporate all, you know, because they only had, I think they only had the, did they only have the PlayStation 1 version? They had one particular version, they just had to base everything off that. Could have been the Nintendo 64 version, which would have been convenient, but, um, yeah, no, oh, no, it's, it's, it's definitely, like, it's a, it's a great package, and, no, I totally recommend this one. I, like, I was really... I played it um, earlier last year, and I was like, oh, this would be great for like a Halloween game. And uh, knowing that they were still patching it and still kind of adding some things and I said, okay, let's just wait like a bit. So I'm glad it's in a very, very full and complete state. Um, and uh, and yeah, I, I just think, you know, there's so much to look at and so much to do in this game. Um, I guess, yeah, like it's... it's it's labyrinthian. It's got that kind of '90s, that late '90s kind of collectathon feel to it. Um, but it's it's structured in a way that actually is like fairly organic, and it makes sense. Have your have your voice artist. That's right, Travis himself. Travis. Maybe it's a kid called Travis, and you're not allowed to like drop surnames in or something like that. Uh, yeah, if only Acclaim didn't. Uh... <laughs> go super aggressive into, uh, you know, gutsy advertising and that kind of <laughs> getting... They get sued? I'm pretty sure Acclaim got sued for things. Um, then maybe, uh, well, maybe we would have seen more Shadow Men game across the years, but, you know, there's a reboot over the works, like, oh my gosh, jeez. So, we'll see. Does it maintain the vibe of this game? We'll see, but, you know, I, de I definitely did really enjoy playing through this just again, um, really uncovering, you know, just like, more things and, and just kind of soaking in how the game even works. How does it tell you things? How does it teach you things? Um, so, yeah, definitely a very, very good, good vibe. Yeah, there's probably just like, caddos all over the shop. The nice thing at least is that, uh, I guess, since the enemies don't respawn, just go into a level and dedicate yourself to finding all those caddos. But, yeah, no, they're not, they're not the most fun. I do wish there was some kind of radar or something that would tell you where they are. So you're gonna have to just look up a guide, because someone has probably documented every single one. I don't think the things that they added in in, like, patches actually moved any caddos. So, there is that, at least. And if they have, ooh. Don't you like a camera fly through? Like, what is this? Fire of the Dragon? Yeah. Um, yeah. I hope you all have a very, very wonderful Halloween. Hope you have. It's like Easter too, you know? It's chocolate and sweets again. People do trick or treat. I've never been tricked. Back past this guy again. Dude, the song ends at roughly the right time. Bit of a jam, bit of a vibe. Don't loop, don't do it, audio, don't do it. There you go. I naturally waited for the credits to end. So that's it, that's Shadow Man. So, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the stream, or any of them, or none of them, 
can enjoy none of them. Uh, feel free to follow on Twitch where you'll get the alert that I'm streaming pretty much this time every week on Monday. Uh, if you missed parts of this or you missed any of the previous stuff, don't worry. YouTube has all the VODs. Just search me up. You'll find me. Um, so does that. Look for, look for the Munchlax sprite. Let's look for that. Uh, we're out of Halloween, so no more Halloween uh, stuff um, for a bit. Apart from, yes, I will do that bonus video at some point. It'll come up, but it'll be separate to the to the schedule. So that's that. Um, other than that, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, hopefully everything goes right. Hopefully everything, you know, if you're working towards something, achieve that. If you got something troubling you, don't let it trouble you. That kind of stuff. So take care. Eat your greens. Don't stay up too late. And uh, have a great Halloween, everyone. Catch y'all. See ya. It's so many F's in that sentence. See ya.